Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Scheduled Conflicts. <laughs> what? 42! What? 42! Episode 42, hell yes. Thank you all so My much for being here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Help. <laughs> your, 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 your ghost is acting up, Gurg? <laughs> My ghost is angry. Help. <laughs> <laughs> that pretty much sums up what happened last time. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> hey Google, what I do with angry ghost dwarf? <laughs> uh, angry hmm. ghost dwarf is now a little uh, under the More weather, angry. shall we say? More under the water. <laughs> uh, under, under uh, the water. Silly indeed. indeed. A lot more happened last episode besides just the whole thing. Ghost. Yeah. You know, like yeah, you know that's the important thing though. We went for a midnight stroll. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. you did. I mean, I got a lot of info on who's going to be at the party. We're fucked. Everybody's yeah. fucked. We don't. But we hey, don't... it's a party. <laughs> That's what it. the masks are for. Isn't it obvious? Masquerade. After, after settling into your new outfits and engaging with the nightlife, you... Ended up getting your payments from Slambo and having a few scuffles here and there of what to do next. Ultimately, though, you decided that rest before the Grand Ball was going to be your best choice. Oh, okay. yeah. Upon waking up, most of us had their usual morning routines. Alafi, however, had a different feeling this time. He wasn't hungry anymore. Whatever the potion did seemed to have worked a little too well. He popped out the arms and saw that instead I did of their the mask specifically. You did the mask specifically. And it's... instead of their bright, vibrant blue color, it came off as this tinge of red. These rows of teeth on this dwarven king's face. Gills on the cheeks. As somehow the curse of the lichen has passed on to him. Oh. Is, is that where we're opening? Oh, God. That is yeah, exactly where we're literally opening. Literally that morning. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. I'm thinking about how Lafayette would respond to this, and the first thing would be... No. Damn it. Morgan, I'm so sorry. He doesn't respond. Doesn't surprise me. He probably doesn't respond to the name Morgan at the moment. Um... <clears throat> now, under normal circumstance, uh, Ilafi is able to dismiss the mask and the fists and whatnot. If I try right now, does it work? It does. Okay, that's good. At least that works. You, you seem to have full faculty on the spiritual assets of what you can do with your uh, key. Excellent. And Alafi is going to rush downstairs. From the roof. <laughs> I mean, you know. Parkour, parkour. Ah, uh, like, Joss, we have a Alafi. problem. Grab him and pull him inside. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> just like, he, he just yeah, pulls like, out of his sentry state and you just grab him by the <laughs> collar and just... <laughs> Yeah, he's just getting up and you see like a Just in a new arm. Hey, how's it going? Oh! <laughs> <All right. laughs> What's wrong, Alafi? You hey. seem concerned. So, uh, I'll start with the good news. Uh, I am no longer at risk of eating anyone's faces. Oh, boy. Sorry, <laughs> Thaddea. <Thania. Cannon. laughs> Poor Barkey has been through everything from us. <laughs> oh, that is wonderful. The cure has worked. There's one problem. Of course, because the bitch Elias 
He's a goddamn liar and a cheat. The potion I drank was a trap. <laughs> I'm no uh, longer cursed. Uh huh? The curse was transferred to Morgan somehow. How is that possible? That is a yeah. very good question. He is not alive. He is a ghost. God's in their bullshit is the answer. Well, Fucking I hate mean, them all. I mean, I'm involved with this, so it makes sense that it's some stupid bullshit. <laughs> That's, yeah, fair. Hmm. Didn't she get the potion from someone else? It wasn't from... Someone who was herself. under her thrall. There. Yes. A, 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 a weird old hippie lady. Fair enough. Mm. Well then, Alafi, I suppose we'll have to figure this out, but we cannot worry about it, for today is the day of a party. Before That's the tomorrow. party. Oh, darn. <laughs> Just like snaps his fingers, darn. Do you want to go see an exorcist? I'm sure we could find one. Uh, not here. This place is known for its uh, magic much. There is one magic thing we need to go check out, though. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, just to finish off the com the whole more grand situation. Um, you guys know how I did, like, the, the ghost arms and the ghost face and whatnot? It looked all friendly, mystical kind of deal. I that wouldn't necessarily say friendly. Friendly is not the word. Now it distinctly looks unfriendly. Oh. I tried doing the mask to talk with Morgan this morning. Oh boy. He, uh, yeah, he's all sharked up. I see. Well, then I guess we'll have to rely on your physical abilities, not the powers of Morgan. Oh, what? I think, I'm not sure if letting him rest will make him better or if whatnot. I'll have to speak with him in dreams again some point soon, hopefully. That sounds like a lot of gobbledygook. Comes down to, uh, even though I may be, puts his hands up, cured, quotation marks, we still need to cure Morgan at some point. It's just no longer immediately pressing. So, in the end of Boone, it just feels weird. Well, you take the good, you take the bad. The facts of life. <laughs> but besides that we should get that, breakfast I, hmm, yes I mean are you still hungry <laughs> it sounds like shrugs like are you I feel fine Oh, good. a regular amount of hungry oh it's so only like seven omelets then <laughs> maybe one <laughs> that's the like I've never seen an Olaf eat more or less than like one, more than one meal. Like what? Has been eating a lot since almost yeah, since we've like a while seen now. He's a while now. got a dad bod by now. <laughs> he's got he's got like a beer belly. I'm eating for two. It's fine. Oh. Uh, You're pregnant. The the ghost. I, I thought it was funny. <laughs> am I am I <laughs> Uh what's Torin Payne up to? Uh Payne is sleeping in. He finally managed to zonk out. So if Tora wants to kick him awake, he can. <laughs> Tora is not so cruel. He no he knows how badly you slept the night before. Oh, no, right. really? they're not even in this inn, are they? Yeah, they're, no. they're yeah. completely different inn. We're in the high oh, yeah. yeah, I, I in... assume that you were here for this whole conversation, Drama, yeah. by the way. Oh, no, I am. They aren't. Good. Yeah, Good they job. were in like a capsule hotel, if I remember correctly, or yeah. something like yep. that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Cute yeah. little hydro motif. It's really that's, cute. That's adorable. <laughs> I love it. I want that. <laughs> So, yeah, um, eventually he's going to get up and, and he's just going to, like, freaking uh, just lie in bed, just contemplating remaining questions and, and just thoughts in his head. 
a nice uneventful you can morning. Hear, you Ooh. can hear gentle card shuffling coming from nearby. Can I guess the card? You're probably going to guess wrong. Hmm. I guess a king of diamond. Uh, sorry, it was minor illusion. Fuck. Minor illusion. <laughs> How would I even know that that's part of the deck? I told you you'd get it wrong. <sighs> Do you even have, like, proper playing cards aside from those? Yeah. Not even playing with those. Well, those don't keep me alive throughout the day. Mm, true. Be really funny if you mixed it up, though. Unfortunate, but also very funny. Can't exactly cast two of spades on someone, can I? You could. You could try. I'm not guaranteeing it would do anything, though. Only pranks walk for his deck with a deck of regular playing cards. <laughs> <laughs> Tora, result, Tora gets the wizard spell book. You don't Tora gets do mauled that. by Tiger <laughs> because of it. Well, you sound more energetic. I assume you slept. Remarkably so, yeah. Alafi had mentioned before that there was something about a tattoo place. Oh, right, yeah. I'm thinking I actually might want to give that place a look. I don't know how early a tattoo parlor starts, but we can check. Yeah, let's get some breakfast first before we go. That's an idea. You know, you didn't have to stay up with me that night either. Could have been just me, just, you know, dealing with that. Just saying. Oh, no, well, someone had to, someone had to watch after you. So are you basically my babysitter now? I don't see anyone else here at the moment. <sighs> Fine. All right, all right. Let's go down to breakfast. And you better finish all of it or you're not getting a juice box. <laughs> <laughs> And now you're enjoying this. Fuck. All right. All right. Let's just go down and get breakfast. <laughs> so much, much to the spirit of this hotel, this is literally just for resting. There's no like. There's room, but there's no board. Mm. Mm. I mean, there's. So you would have to go out in the town to go and eat. Okay. Um, I guess we can just like try and find a cafe or something like that. Nothing too fancy. Too fancy? But something with good food. A little French cafe. Well, that is a Ooh. matter of perspective. Something cozy, something rustic. Oh. Alright, uh, give me perception checks. Okay. Sounds like the Cracker Barrel to me, yeah. I have been to many a Cracker Barrel, but I've also been to many a, a, a cafe that has different kinds of rustic uh, styles to them. Uh, 22. 22. And 19. So, in one of the alleys in the market quarter... You see the image of this, like, robed 
friar holding a pewter mug. Simply called the Pilgrim's Goblet. Okay. A simple little rest for uh, people who are traveling the districts. They offer Pain will just gesture for uh, for Tor to go on in first, like the gentleman he is. <laughs> oh, if this was the, if if this was the ball, this would be funnier. Okay, I'll go in first. Shut, shut the fuck up. Oh, you have no idea. No idea how much fun this is going to be. Bulls tomorrow. You can have plenty of time to scheme about that. Who's scheming? Uh, you. Torah Scheming Mukana. Oh no, you found out my middle name. <laughs> it was a salt. It was it was a lucky guess, to be fair. Well, it, it's it's a, a thing. It, it's a humble little place. It's got a few chairs around some small little like nightstand looking places for your drinks um it has a wall of books with a sign on it that says uh give one take one Ooh. oh it's like a little like a library library cafe that sounds great and a sort of like more elderly balding man just offers you some nice teas or some coffees for your morning Oh, three copper Coffee. per cup. Alrighty. Paint's gonna get a, uh, a just a mm, regular black coffee. Because he is basic. <laughs> yeah, tea for Torah. Easy enough. actually sounds relaxing as fuck just like the tea mm. and a buck in the morning oh oh you know what would be even better is if it was like biscuits and gravy with hash browns and scrambled eggs well, they're, that's, they're, that's my go to they, they are more on the selection of uh, of drinks more than food but what they have is simply like toast maybe a boiled egg do they do poached eggs? Well, you can certainly try. I want to try and see if I can get that. Oh, God. Uh, apologies, <laughs> it seems like you're getting scrambled. I tried. <laughs> yeah, it was worth a try. I always end up scrambled. They want to get on, you know, try try it again for me, but intentionally scramble them. Oh yeah. I don't know how it came sunny side up. <laughs> yeah, it's <a> terrible cut. <laughs> I mean, hey, th this guy's already a sunny side person, so you know, maybe it's just reading the souls of people or something. You're saying your soul is scrambled. Yeah, pretty much. Sounds about right. So that a burnt. And God's forbid, burnt. I mean, I was going to say sunny side down, but that's not what that is. No, that's over easy. Yeah, yeah, and I don't think I could get you over easy. <laughs> Just shut up and eat your eggs. Aura will eat and stop picking on pain. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, back he at complains, the but there's a there's a small smile to it. Like he does enjoy it just a little bit. Meanwhile, back at the bar, you're getting some some nice warm breakfast soup. Did she uh, notice the thousand gold I left on the floor next to her? 
see it sitting on the bar at the end. Good morning, Tanya. <sighs> Good morning. Apologies if we've been too much for you. We're just, you know, good-natured people. I... I... I understand, but... You can, like, see her eyes twinge. She's, she's almost afraid to say anything. Well, I'm... Uh... I'm going to finish up these doors today, and then that'll be it for my charity work for you. But I would happily pay you for, you know, food, drink, you know, anything that you could serve. <laughs> On a roll me an insight check. My insight's actually really good. Let's hope I don't roll a one. Wisdom, you know. First roll today. Ooh. Not bad. 23. Very good. Very good. 23. You can see her clenching her fist and biting her tongue. She seems very upset about something and is having a hard time hiding it. I haven't been adventuring for as long as I have without knowing when someone's in trouble. What's wrong? You have any idea what it feels like? Just wake up one day have people just walk into it and invalidate all of your efforts. And why? Because it's the right thing to do? No. Because it makes you feel better to not have to look at someone in such a sorry state. We did it because it's the right thing to do. And because of that, you have reduced all of my struggles to a matter of coin, as she just points over to the bag. You take pity on me because I struggle, because I might have a bit off more than I can chew, sure. So instead of letting me prove myself and letting me solve my own problems, these adventure types just swoop in and decide what's best for me. I'll go grab my coin. <laughs> I told Pan to leave alone, and you decided to give money instead? Oh, Miss Zanya. I do not know much of your struggles, but... No Indrana, Captain, if she would see anybody, no matter what, she would at least do it out of kindness. You meant no disrespect. We know that your struggles are your own, but if we can help anyone, that's we will try. Oh no, no, and no, 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 no. I no, want no. her. No. I know your type. You adventurer I... types have all your own selfish reasons. I bet you have saved folk only to sell their own caravans out from underneath them. Hmm. Or cleared a mine out of dangerous monsters only to have someone lose their job because it wasn't done by the books. I bet you've even sent people to their deaths just because it was more convenient than having to deal with that person. What's wow. n what's Wait, three. I mean, what's... What's next on your jolly band of adventures? Are you going to... Go kill a god or something? <laughs> you see, you see Joust is about ready to, like, completely, like, raise a finger and say, and he's like, Insight I don't check? 
Yeah, I'm going to insight that was way too specific. She's acting different from yesterday. Like, very different. Yeah, like, she sure, knows Romeo a lot more than she's putting that. I'm trying to... Hmm, I breached for my IRL dice again. Hold up. <laughs> so, yeah. do, do you mind if I roll another insight check? Sure. Because those were very specific. And Joust is about ready to just raise a finger to, like... Yo! Like, Good that you're doing well. 26 and 21. Ooh, to any man. Since you've met this woman, she has been very timid and very shy about her forthcomings and her establishment. Though Payne or one of you had suggested to sleep on her thoughts from yesterday, I feel like she's thought about it a whole lot. Mm. In, oh, it's still her? She's making lucky guesses at you guys, and she is exhausted. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Joust is just like, wow, three for three, damn. <laughs> just like, hmm. A what? A cook? Cause, cause a new revolution somewhere outside a city? Okay, I'm gonna stop you there, because you're freaking me out, okay? <laughs> Like, you are on the nose, lady, and I don't even have one. I just, you... want, I just want to, like, did you read, like, a memoir that we left or something? Or a bounties, or, like... Yeah, like, you are, like, nail on the head, lady. <laughs> oh, God, no. Is she a fan of the show? Tune in every Thursday. It's okay. Schedule okay. okay, it's so too you, meta now. We have to stop the uh, joke. You, I'm joking, I'm joking, yeah. you see her pull out some papers. Oh no! Oh, and you mm -hmm. see your faces on them. Mm. Still don't like that picture of us, mm. Drana. Not only do you have a new image on your poster, but your bounty's gone up exceptionally. Ooh. Uh oh. Is it, say, the Pirate Queen or anything? I mean, it goes by the name Drana Emberlight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How much am I worth? How many zeros are on that piece of paper? 50,000 gold. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> it could be oh, higher. Wow. Oh, wow, Drana, that's so high. <laughs> oh, yours has gone up quite a bit. Well, then, <sighs> I guess we're at an on top of On top of what was already listed for your list of crimes in Falling Fire, now stacks on to fun. heresy. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I don't have a word for it, but essentially they know you, you've, you've usurped a hostile nation of pirates. Oh, um, God, I know there's, that's a word. Let's see. Uh, treason? Well, that technically is treason, treason because he was my king, technically. I mean, except it's not like treason. It's, it's not treason against the, the crown. Thing. It's, it's like, oh. what would be? It's right? essentially colluding with a hostile nation. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's it, it's yeah, you it, it's usurping a sovereign nation. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> so bringing the conversation you, back. You are you are seen as a terrifying threat, having felled the basilisk. Hmm. Well, is that... going to very carefully like head Zenya's gaze and say, "So, what are you going to do?" If you want to spout about good and selfless acts, then at least walk the walk. I'm here to save my family. My wife has been captured, my daughter's captured. My son forced into a life of war. That's why I'm here. My family was uh, threatened to be murdered, 
and the only way was I could save them was to 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 kill the person who threatened them, or else it was never going to end. I learned how to be a person. <laughs> just shrugs like <laughs> I don't know why I'm a, a, a I'm just literally stolen property here that can walk around. And so you did. You did stop them. But was that enough for you? Doesn't seem like it according to this paper. I am... I could explain everything on that piece of paper, but it's uh, not relevant. It's a moot point, apparently, yeah. to her. She has her view, and we have ours. We just don't want any trouble. Have we been not but courteous? I mean, a little over courteous, I would say. Don't don't start with that, Joust. We all right. Okay, I'm just saying she, she she's literally considered a threat right now. Pulling this out, we're at an impasse right now. I don't think. And she's what a do you do with threats? Hilariously, we actually tend to do a lot of talking first. It's yeah. surprisingly yes. You wouldn't think it from what you said most adventuring folk might do, but we, we do a lot of talking. I mean, no, you could very well easily believe that after what you saw yesterday. Oh, yes, for sure. But listen, we are in overhead pretty much nine times out of ten wherever we are. Crocodile was basically an accident. Yeah, yeah. Like, if he had just not been there, it wouldn't have happened. <sighs> so, Xenia? Gonna call the guards, or...? That would be the right thing to do, wouldn't it? I suppose, yes. It would be... A thing to do. I wouldn't call it the right thing to do. I mean, that's the chance. Don't get me wrong. For. Some of us may have been annoying to deal with. That's uh, that's true of many folks. At least we paid for everything. That's all I've got. Instead of taking what some paper says, maybe take our actions to you is what is... I mean, All you've done since you've been here is complain about how I've been struggling and why I should be here. Well, it's my struggle. It's my fight. You didn't have any right to choose. I wish Payne was here to see this. You oh, are yes. absolutely correct. I know, right? Imagine having to say this twice to him. But I mean... Payne she... hates seeing struggle because of his own struggles. Mm. That's where that comes from. It'd that be a lot sense. to unpack, honestly. Oh, Maybe it's better he isn't here. Oh yeah. Mm. Prob By the way, they was he with Tora? Uh, I didn't see either of them all night. I would assume so. Oh okay. I was just curious because like Tora is usually up when I'm up, so it, I'm concerned. Yeah, mm. he, they. We walked a long way last night, and they didn't uh, want to walk back. That anyway. makes sense. Hmm. I have a very quick aside before we continue. Mm hmm Joe's new bounty picture, is he blue? He is not. Interesting. Okay, so we've got a time frame. Yeah, it's between news <laughs> sent from Gallius to here, and they probably did not know I was recently turned blue. That's fairly recent, so... <laughs> Interesting. And probably good. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> <sighs> Although his bounty has gone up by another 10 Gs. Oh, so it's not like 110,000? No, you went from 10,000 to 20. Oh, right, right, right. For the safe return of from... a construct. Hmm. First property of Ball and Fire, yes. So... I'm not going to make any choices for you. If you want to call the guard, go for it. I'm 
I'm partial to her not calling the guard, please. It would be a lot of trouble for us. Oh, yes. I really don't want to be dismantled and killed. I... All I'm going to say is we had our reasons to, to do what we did, and they were all for the greater good in the end, but... What we viewed as the greater good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Some people like to live their own life. That is the nature of... Uh... Life. Yeah. Reminds me of some of the furbugs I know, honestly. Right. Or I mean, used to know. I'm just as confused as everyone else, but I feel that I just wanted to apologize, but it's not my actions. I'm I'm sorry. I mean, you do you, girl. Okay. I just want to, you know, be around to make my own choices because this is all new, and I'm just back home. That's... Yeah, want to talk about someone who's been forced to make some choices by other people? <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> oh my life is a mess. <sighs> Yeah, that's, that's like looking down sad. <laughs> My life is a joke, is a cosmic joke, I suppose. <laughs> I hate how right that is. Yeah, it's like, trust me, I've had a weird few days, lady. You know, we've asked so much about you, but you definitely haven't asked about us. Maybe instead of doing so much listening, we should do some talking instead. Or we, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's not her fault that we came here and think that we, although five ordinary people with... Well, how about we listen it. to what she wants first? Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. So, do you want us out? Because we will happily leave. We won't take any of this stuff. We won't do anything. We'll leave and we'll forget about you and this tavern. Leave you to your struggles. I want you to go. Understood. But before I do, I only have one request. Yes. And you see her rip the wanted posters up in front of you guys. Oh. <laughs> Be good for goodness sake. Not for what you think is good. I mean, I could certainly try. That's a good wisdom. I'm keeping that. Yes. But thank you. Pain needs to hear that, because Pain tries to do a lot of good. Yes. But isn't necessarily the best at being good. Mm. We be will good, be... not do good? Interesting. Mm. I mean, I will... You need to wait for your friends, then you're welcome to wait here. No. Yeah, we can catch you outside. Yes. You I know dealt with us saying. enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. We can go harass them where they're staying. That sounds like fun. <laughs> I do want to try and see what these arms can really do, but I want to say thank you, Zinta, and good day, as he, like, kind of... You see, like, his wig and hat is, like, on a coat rack and puts it on, and just, like, wants a good day, madam. Before Elafic leaves, he's going to say just, well, at least there's one bastion of good in this city, because I have not liked it here so far. Thanks again. Take care of yourself. For what it's worth, thank you. <laughs> All right. Drana collects her things leaves whatever leftover wood there is and walks out. Alright. 
She was a strange one, Alafi. She was most, right. Mm. Most, pe most people in the city don't not have that type of character. They are... She is of a higher cut of thread, I suppose. Yeah. Hmm. She was good and likes her struggle. Yeah? Likes to feel alive. Actually makes sense for an elf living in this city. It makes like a lot of sense. I find very similarities between her and my struggles, I suppose. But what I know, I'm just a old clanky metal man. What do I know? You are not even remotely old, Joust. Oh, I feel old. I feel wise beyond my years, friend. Hey, flex for me. You got it. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Give me a strength check, yeah. Joust. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, brother. I'm about to run wild. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's a plus four, not just a straight four, because I'm, def I'm definitely not proficient. <laughs> and with it would be minus, it would have been. This, this is literally whatever. roll to flex. Yeah, flex. Uh, <laughs> with new flex seal. Oh, twenty-two. Mm. Oh yeah, you can you can hear the mechanics kicking in as like the biceps almost artificially like pump mm -hmm. up. It's definitely that, like, Arnold Strongman pose, just like the, <laughs> the traps come out a little bit. Oh, yeah, now we're talking. If you if so... you hadn't undone the sleeves already, they might have ripped. <laughs> yeah, you see the new metal plate in that he kind of put on, almost like scales, like, kind of ripple up, like, pretty much like Jax's arms in Mortal Kombat, just... <laughs> Oh yeah, that's cool, right? I, I, mean, I will, you I will keep thinking of the gorilla arms in Cyberpunk. Yeah, yeah, definitely gorilla arms. That's the best way to describe it, for sure. But yeah, Salafi, I think it's pretty fucking cool, right? Very. Yeah. Gonna get yourself a bigger weapon. Maybe <laughs> you might do oh, that to no. anymore. No, 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 not at all. Well, with uh, that, I don't you like have... I don't like weapons. With that, you have kindly left the Xenia's humble little inn. You are left wandering the market streets. So, where did they stay, uh, Drana? I think we're more likely to run into them uh, wherever that uh, tattoo uh, guy was that you right. did the other day, Alafi. We should go see that person. That sounds interesting. I wonder if he could do anything on me. Why don't we head to their inn, see if they're there, and then go to Tattoo Place? I he also might have moved, because I might have scared him, but you know. Because the inn is three hours away. Well, I mean, are we just going to let them go and have like Tell a date what? or whatever don't they're doing? have that magic thing that lets some people know where people are? With the talking, I am. Uh, I'm go. I'm going to cast uh, uh, sending on uh, targeting Toro. All right. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, we <laughs> can just do that. We are. We have magic. <laughs> Toro, we'll meet you at the tattoo guy. We got kicked out of uh, the inn for being too kind to her. Oh yeah, that that's a good justification. <laughs> right, because that was the lesson you needed to learn there. That's definitely right, yeah. the lesson. Well, okay. I, yeah, I'm aware that that's not the lesson, but I mean, you only have point. 25 words yeah. to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> Very that makes funny. Sense. Re regardless, your message does go through to Tora as he begins to hear this in his head. In the middle of a cafe. And Tora can reply if he wants. Did we happen to catch TJ when he was stepping away for a drink or something? No, no, TJ's just thinking. Oh, I'm thinking, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wizards like to count their words, uh, uh <laughs> Imagine counting your words. Couldn't be me. <laughs> well, Al uh, Alafi just simplifies his words to, like, five words. <laughs> you can get a message across very effectively with very hey, few words. Newstone, who it is? Yes. Yes, the last <laughs> one I had to use a lot of words to get the more complex dealings across. Of course. Okay, so the reply is uh, 
Good job. I'm proud of you. <laughs> We're getting breakfast, and then Sunshine wants a tattoo from the magic guy. Meet us there. All right. They'll meet us there. Oh. We'll lead the way, Alafi, and don't go too fast. My legs are short. <sighs> Would you like me to carry you? It was really easy when I was walking along the rooftops Here. last night. Here, you can carry this, and I hand him uh, the 10,000 gold that I'm carrying. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I wish I had a magical bag or a sack that I could fall into. This would make this a lot easier. No comment. Hmm. Yes. And now everyone's am... jealous of my sack. I yep. know. For I am without sack, so I will carry this sack of gold, yes. That was the coin purse. Shall we, uh, shall we head over to the uh, the tattoo place? Oh, I didn't know there was magic involved. Uh, yeah, it's on the down low. Because, ah. you know, that's... that's not... Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, shall we go then? Yep, yeah. yeah, let's be on our way. Off we go. And we can just fast forward to meeting up with everybody. What Meanwhile... convenient timing. We've showed up at the exact same time. Meanwhile, at the tattoo pile. <laughs> you know, you, you joke about that, but... <laughs> <laughs> if the distances line up and it happens to be that way, it's perfect. Okay. Meant to be. Uh, no, Alafian gang, you guys end up there first. Ah, oh, darn. We got here first. Ah. Hello again. It seems like he's just about to get set up. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Do you think he likes big bags of money? Because this is actually kind of heavy. Chaz is, like, adjusting it. <laughs> oh, you're back. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hello. Oh, he's friendly. I didn't Not think like you would hire someone to carry your money around. Oh, yes, he is quite wealthy. We're, we're uh, all equally wealthy. Oh, no, not me, sir. I am just a courier to carry your money. Roll me a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you fail this one. Roll a one, please. Oh, hell no. Deception, <laughs> baby. Oh. Roll a one. Roll a one. Roll a one. Like, a one. Wait a minute. This guy's a damn robot. <laughs> uh, how about a 24? Damn it. I mean, Ooh. yay. Oh, sorry. If we was one more, 25 because of... Uh... Jackal trade. Oh, yeah, because right, right. that's going to make all the difference. <laughs> of course, yes. Sorry. As I'm just like... That made all the difference for oh, me. Oh, okay. To the old pool. Carry this bag of money. Oh, it's so heavy. <laughs> uh, I guess you're that kind of rich that decides to dress casually, but doesn't flaunt their money. Respectful. I mean, we, we got paid yesterday. I haven't had the chance to flaunt the money yet, and some of it's going to you, so... Well, I guess you're in the right place for it, then. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. We, of course, we want to keep it on the down, though. Would you like me to set this down for you? Why don't you just give it back to... Well, because it is your money, sir. I cannot be responsible for it. And I'll kind of just hand over the bag of money. I'm like, yeah, like you deal with it's walk mm. away. I'm gonna pass Drana's money back to Drana. Oh, I wanted to make a joke okay, of it. I take my money. I don't know what you guys are trying to do, but can we be normal for a day? I am no. not normal, Alapi. <laughs> I am not normal. God no. damn! Can't you just be normal? <laughs> you can try to be normal. <laughs> I can't actually. I think I am abnormal by default. Our <laughs> Definitely abnormal by default. I can't argue this. Damn it. <laughs> Compared to uh, all of you who are normal, I am the epitome of how many unnormal. people are around right now? It's quieter since it's the morning, right? It, it is. It is the morning. He is just getting himself set up. A Almost an anticipation for a long-term tattoo project. Okay. <gasps> well, no one else is around. No one else is around here. Like, what? What do? The tattoos do exactly because I know you explained them a little bit yesterday, and I think my wizard friend got it, but I definitely didn't. <sighs> I know I've got new friends here. Uh, well, yes, we, I am curious. We, sh we shouldn't be speaking about this out loud. 
Well, the place is empty. There's not nearly as many people here. Not nearly as many still means her eyes and ears everywhere. Well, I suppose that's why it's I keep this all in catalog form. Hmm, yes, it'd be good to read some informative knowledge or a pamphlet. Usually with big projects like these, I like to hire an artist to uh, do a rendition of the tattoos I've done, just for uh, cataloging. Oh, that is a very <laughs> smart <laughs> idea. So then people can see your work all in one place. That's right. Wow, he is, a, I guess he's a professional, Luffy. You see him pull out this, like, huge encyclopedia-sized, like, booklet. Just place it on one of the stools. That's my normal tattoos. Oh. About a quarter of the size. Those are not normal tattoos. Mm. <laughs> we, we just pass it back the normal tattoo book. Actually, Jell no, I, I, I'll take a look through the normal tattoo book. Oh, oh wow. He, he has a very wide artistry of just all sorts of spectacle designs. Although... Uh, you know, make me a perception check. The real question is, can you do a gingerbread on my finger? That reference. You mean yeah. like this one right here? Well, that would be <laughs> any problem. <laughs> 19. Um, as you're like panning through all the art designs, you're noticing a lot of the motifs and th themes a majority of them or like a, a very sizable amount to you seem to be depictions of devils oh oh hmm demon magic eh huh uh do I do I recognize any of these devils specifically like are they of like main devils or are they just depiction? You know. You notice one depiction. depiction. Oh. Uh you know how in Satanism they do like the two fingers up as like as above, so below? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see like a a tattoo of a hand doing that gesture, and behind it it sort of like casts a shadow on that hand. And it's like depicting like a face. That's creepy. That's fucking metal. <laughs> That's really creepy. And while more sinister, like, you know, jagged teeth and like horns casting a shadow, you do recognize the shape from the one blood god you have experienced in your time. Oh. He was a pretty right cool there. guy. Oh. He, he was an uh, he was a good dude, yeah. He was okay. He wouldn't ban us from a place just because we were so nice. I... <laughs> Again, not the lesson that you guys were supposed to learn, but okay. That, that's not the lesson we took away either. No, of that's course not. Just, Anyways. That's just what we're saying. <laughs> uh, I may come back another time. This is far too sinful for my current eyes. <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, I think it... I mean, you know, my arms could use some fresh ink. It's all for intimidation's sake. A lot of these people get these tattoos to look tough. Oh, I Damn. mean, I mean, there's one that looks like a fish jumping up a waterfall. That's a nice looking one. <laughs> oh yeah, really pleasant guy that one. Comes back every now oh, and yeah. then for a little one across his arm or something. Oh wow, man. he's, a, he's addicted to the ink. Hmm. I think once you get one, you just want a whole bunch on your arm or something. Here a here. lot of these people, they come to them with purpose and with zeal, but after mm. the 15th one, they're just like, I want a duck. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, a duck wouldn't be a bad one, Alafi. Is that what you want? You want a little baby duck right there on the shoulder? <gasps> well, yeah, yeah, well, 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 hold, hold your horses there. What was the what was the demon's name again? I have to look through the channel. Uh, <laughs> that would be... Zulian. Zulian. The god of war. The one with Zulian on is pretty cool, though. Surprised anybody even remembers that name. Or are saying it so out loud. I mean... I was saying it to see if you knew it. 
answers all I need to know. I think we should be quieter. Just know if I'm getting arrested for heresy, you're coming with me. <laughs> Trust me. I'm already on the board for heresy. Oh. <laughs> that I'm in good company. <laughs> now, mm -hmm. we want to get to the real nitty gritty details. We got to know what we want out of this. A lot of mm -hmm. options here. And he's sort of like pulling out the not normal tattoos. Some people want to look tough, but some people actually want to be tough with these tattoos. Some of these can uh, absorb the elements. Some can simply light, light things up like a torch. A bit of disguise. Although if you want something more temporary, we have the one-use tattoos. Do you want something temporary or something more permanent? What's... Oh, there's so many options. You said you have ones for disguise. Is there a way to amplify an already existing ability, or does it run on its own clock, per se? It sort of runs on its own clock. Mm, damn. It is probably like what you can do, Alafi, but... Exactly what I was thinking, yeah. Yes. In my brain, I know, I think I remember all the tattoos and by the... I can't remember. Although, I will say, I do like, I do like to boast this. This one is mighty potent. And it is a face tattoo. Ooh. I am not redrawing a reactive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Olaf is not in for this one, don't worry. Ow, I can ow, already ow. change myself as is. Uh, let's see, he um, continues to turn the pages. Like, oh, there's the one shots. Uh, this one avoids necrosis. Mm. Uh, this one gives you an incorporeal form. Ah, oh, like a spirit. Uh, more or less like a ghost. Hmm, that's pretty cool. I can already do that. Uh, then of course we have a Shadowfell brand. There's no comment from him, that's great. The what? <laughs> oh. Hold up! <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a tick. Who did you find that? Oh, yeah, I'm trying to remember that one. Ah, uh, yeah, I learned this one from a Shadrakai in the Shadowfell. Good guy. Oh, you've been down, you've been down that way. That sounds fun. Uh, more like they've been my way. Oh, mm. right, right. Mm. You know, let you see in the dark. Armus makes you meld with the shadows. Ah. Uh. Well, I can't do that. I'm made out of metal. I'd be too loud. You can do a thing that lets me see in the dark? You can't see in the dark, Alafi? No. I all Can time. you? I, mean, I can. All Shadra yes, I mean, All Shadra Kai with the Shadowfell brand give themselves dark vision, advantage on stealth checks, and half damage once per day. Oh, well, that sounds lovely. What was the half damage? What does that mean? Well, I mean, he's literally going meta, like, so you, uh, he can explain the abilities to you. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. And we're totally yeah. not going on. It's Joss, so uh, Joss, like that actually <laughs> makes sense. And you're like, what does that even mean, Joss? I don't know, but I'm just agreed with it. <laughs> it's like, mm. the chaos one. Oh my god, my brain. Uh, yeah. And Lothi wants the see in the dark, or the oh. full shatter kind. Uh, uh, can because why not? Let, let me let me lay out all the options to you. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, some uh, some of the uh, some of the boys in the bright guard like this one, the coiling grasp. As you see, like a whole hand tattoo that's almost like chains around a wrist. 
I think that one seems pretty cool. Sort of like a, uh, almost like magic manacles, only they kind of hurt. Ooh. Guess you could slam people with that, Alafi. You know, from a distance. And magic. Oh, God. The tattoos wouldn't work with my... What does that one do specifically? The uh, manacles. Uh, well, if someone's around 15 feet there, yeah? It gives you the ability to grapple them within that reach. He has a bit of force damage and a bit of struggle, but if you get them in it, they're kind of caught. Mm. Essentially describing a 15-foot <laughs> grapple that does force damage. I I can also already kind of do that. You know, I, I'm wondering if I could do that one, because I like that. And it sounds like it would look really cool on my arms. You don't seem like a guy who wears armor. Though this one might oh. be for you, too, as he turns the page. Ooh. This one uh, helps put up a magical barrier around you. Oh my god. Fancy. How does it work? Well... Have you ever seen, uh... A magician, like, put up a magical shield? Oh, I oh think yeah. yeah. Thor has done that a few times, yes. Very <laughs> similar effect. Mm. Mm. Only this one permanently increases your armor. Oh. Holy crap. I so, think d depending on the rarity, you can have essentially an AC of 12 plus your dex mod, 15 plus your dex mod, or 18 plus your dex mod. That's pretty good. And that is a the permanent tattoo equivalent of wearing plate armor. I then have to ask, uh, does this work with unarmored defense, the monk thing, or no? I would assume not, because that would be super busted. This would essentially be your new armor. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So if th this would negate unarmored defense. Mm. I will save my money for a cloak of protection at some point when it comes to the defensive things. Um, dark vision, though. And all so right, all right. Two, just two more for you. Oh, so many cool options, my. You already have me hooked. <laughs> no I need to sell the car, man. Just take my money. <laughs> I gotta be a proper businessman and deal out all my options. Is it See, bad but... to get more than one? I would assume a lot of magic concentration on skin isn't that good for someone. No. Yeah, it Sorry, depends how much skin quiet. you got. <laughs> um, I do have That's a quick so cool. question. What if you do not have skin? I'm afraid I can't do anything with that. Darn. I mean, I totally have skin. It's just like nervously pulls his collar and walks <laughs> back a little bit. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, I figured I wouldn't be able to do it. I don't have skin. <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot about this one, the Blood Fury. Ah, no, about that one. My head is perked up. Hello, yes. Yeah, hello, at this I'm point, there. you would be here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, good. Oh, oh, hello, Pain. Uh, oh, by the there way, there are sir, so are many cool. cool things here, guys. All right, all right, let me see. Let me see. Ooh. He, right. he sort of just like hands you the catalog. He's like, oh. What was that about the. Blood Fury, you said? Oh, yes, the Blood Fury tattoo. I've only ever done one of its kind before, so I take mighty pride in it. And you see, like, this tattoo that covers, like, 
both of the person's arms and their entire back. It is hmm. this furious, angry pattern. You almost It almost looks like a crusade going on where it's like one arm is one army, the other is the other, and they're clashing on his back. Hmm. That is very interesting. I already have something in mind, but, um... That... Sort of, uh... Adds a bit of necrosis to your attacks. Oh, I can already do that. We keep saying that. I said that to like the first two <laughs> things. Too. Yeah. Uh, have you dealt with? Well, I do have something in mind. like us before. <laughs> I I do have something in mind for you that um that's more of a personal project if you wouldn't mind. Um. Uh. Well, this particular tattoo comes with ten charges, and mm -hmm. it gives you two options. Uh, the first one is a bit uh, leech-like in its quality. You hit someone, it deals this necrosis, and you regain HP equal to the damage you dealt. It's HP, I love it. <laughs> Second option is if somebody hits you, the necrosis sort of acts as a natural defense and counters back at it. Oh, like uh, uh, armor of Agathus. In a way, but it's it's your own melee attack. You'll get to fight back and at advantage. Okay. I still don't know what that means. Lastly, here we have one of my personal favorites, the Eldritch Claw. What's the one thing most people hate when they close the distance in a fight? Getting out. running away. The fact that they're so damn close. This gives you a little bit of extra reach and leverage. Hmm. Is it? Hmm. Uh, there you go. So it essentially covers about half of this guy's arm. It's almost like this uh, strange demonic claw almost reaching to a talon at the end of the hand. Ooh. Now this one in particular powers up your fists. Uh-huh. Not only do you get a plus one to your attack and damage rules, but it also gives you the bonus action. It allows you to strike or use weapon attacks to reach up to 15 feet away and an extra dose of D6-4's damage. All of these sound amazing. And yet all things despite... I still just want to be able to see in the dark. <laughs> well, let's not say I didn't try. I mean, Wait, I'm sure want... my other friends here are going to want all kinds of things. What do you think, Tori? Do you want to be able to punch people? Uh, I would not like my very... style. Hmm. I would I like would... a very simple artistic tattoo, actually. Easy enough. Uh, I, I wish. should be able to get at least two of you done today. That one that he wants is going to take a whole limb. I wish I had skin for a tattoo. But we'll do mine uh, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah what, what, what? Uh, Sorry, go ahead. <clears throat> I mean, no, no, just, just want my turn with the catalog if everyone else is picked. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I guess a whole sleeve's going to be an eight-hour-long project. Mm. Yeah. With breaks, and it's going to be course. really sore afterwards. But it will look so fucking cool. <laughs> oh, I promise you that much. Oh, that's awesome. I do have a question. Aye? Would you be at all interested in covering up scars? 
Well, of course, we do scar covers. Mm, particularly big ones. What are we looking at here? I can't tell the whole thing, but... He just, like, pulls his hair back, turns around, just shows a bit of the, uh, the keel-hauling scar that peeks out from his neck. Oh. Don't ask. Cause... Well, I'm not here to ask. Yeah. I'm only here to do my job. I'm going to try to find some way to cover that up. Have people stop asking questions if I can at all avoid it. Hasn't happened yet, but... Uh, my help people stop talking about the scars and more of the story behind the tattoo. <laughs> I, I think we can do that. You are an excellent businessman. I mean, yeah, I'm sold and yeah. I don't even have skin. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so if I flip to the, the the tattoo for defense, what's the shape look like? Uh, The, uh, the barrier? Yeah. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Well, there there's several varieties of them. He's he's done some that just cover like half a limb. He's done whole limbs. You see, he's done like entire chests. Um, and each of them have very different artistic representations. Although the main motif is that it will depict a shield. And it has this, like, metallic sheen to it. Like, almost like the ink is metal. Mm, that's cool. You know, tempting as it is, it's just not my kind of thing. You can get some kind of royal flush kind of going... Just for funsies. Oh, people love doing deck of cards all over themselves. Mm. No, I think I prefer being my own canvas with nothing that has to stay there. Enough. Uh, so... Now, for this, uh, Shadowfell brand of yours. Mm -hmm. It's going to be about 4,000 gold. Done. See, what was all the stuff the Shadowfell brand does again? I only remember the seeing in the dark part. So, uh, the Shadowfell brand grants you abilities derived from the infamous Plane of Shadow making your ability to conceal yourself as sneaky as ever. Uh, if you didn't have it already, you gain a dark vision of 60 feet. Pretty good. Uh, Got it. You will have advantage on all stealth checks. And once per day, as a reaction, it halves all of the incoming damage on you. From one source? From one source. Okay, I was gonna say, ooh. And to kind of give you an idea of the appearance, I'll just uh, drop this in the open bar chat. That's a good card, yeah. Well, because like, the Shadrakai have like a whole imagery and depiction like you can imagine one of these folks whole like sleeves mm -hmm. yeah it's almost like ah. abstract dark colors in this sort of like tribalistic shapes mm. a lot of spirals and circles that end in like points someone who was once a monk of shadow would greatly appreciate these uh yeah if only you knew one of those alafi i'm sorry yeah right and <laughs> What's what's the name of that like black that absorbs all light? Oh, the um Vantablack. 
The Vanta Black. Yeah. Th this is the ink that you're getting dealt with. Oh my goodness. That's so fucking cool. That's fucking metal. <laughs> just has a smile. He's like, all right, just rubbing his hands together. I feel bad for the guy who probably had an appointment. He's like, come back tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> the guy just leaves. Oh. Come in here with cash in hand and just take a spot. Well, he, he, he has other tattoo artists with him, but he's like the main guy. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's like a little street thing of just a few tattoo artists, guys. I thought it was just him yeah, like like so. like a like a band of tattoo artists together. Oh, okay. So it's like it's like a little bohemian group of tattoo artists, right? Yeah, they yeah. they all have like art portfolios that they've submitted, and they're just like, all right, yeah, you can work with us. Oh, sick! That's really cool. As he puts this ink to your skin, Alafi, you almost feel your vision going dark. Whoa. As if the Shadowfell itself is calling you with its dark emotions. Uh, I need you to make a con save. Okay. I'm gonna say it. Alafi is turning into the Edge Lord. Brawling in my Stop skin. Stepping on my turf, Alavi. I am going to use the uh, birthday inspiration to reroll that. All right. Let's go. Finally using it. Happy birthday, inspiration. Fifteen. We'll keep that. Fifteen. Right. Yeah. The, the have this back. The needles on your skin are just like hot coals. But for the most part, you're able to uh, stay conscious. Where's he tattooing it, by the way? Like his back, his chest? Uh, that is up to a Laffy. Mm. Oh, boy. You get to choose one limb that is going to be up and down with this tattoo. The right arm. The punching arm. All right. Your yeah. right arm. If you want something simple and clean, you can uh, talk to my associate, Andy. I'm going to be here all day. I'll just wait. Well then, Tora, since the they are going to be disposed, do we need to do any shopping since we have the day to ourselves? Maybe go take in a nice puppet show or something? Do they have puppet shows? I mean, there's a lot of street performances here in Fallen Fire. A lot of theaters. We need to go find a new inn to stay at. Oh, there's an idea. That's a smart idea. Oh, yes. By the way, Payne. Yeah. Be good for be for goodness sakes. Yes. That's the mm -hmm. quote she told us. If we're going yes. to be good people, we might as well be good for goodness sake. Mm -hmm. I mean... <laughs> Uh, yeah, sounds good. <laughs> well, he really got the message just right away. All right, well, um, this is three of us. It like, so... was delivered. Just, yeah. You got it, buddy. <laughs> well, see, that's all we needed to say. Uh -uh. But, um, uh -uh. so, but, uh, yeah, I mean, are we looking for a little or upscale? Someone that won't get mad at us for leaving them a lot of money since we'd like to throw our money around? We still don't want to draw attention, but... Oof, that's going to be hard if we're going to go into any more... That's why I places. said, but... Mm. But we uh, could... We could uh, look our best and uh, go into one of the fancier places and just say we're going to be... We're going to be staying overnight for the ball. For the gala tomorrow. If we go to a higher like place, there'll be more guard presence, because money talks and the guard follow. I tell you that right now. Like we were there, and there, of course, there's no guards coming to that ramshackle place. Yeah, we could just find another small place and mind our own business this time. 
Yeah, yes, that's true. You know, just keep our head down. Try not to put any more doors in, right, Drana? We could go a little higher than that, I can tell you that. <laughs> um... I actually have another idea. Um... Do we need a mode of transportation to get to the Gamma? I mean, we could, yes, we do. We could, of course, take a carriage. Yeah, you, you imagine any of all the nobility that are going to be there are getting the red carpet treatment. Yeah. Right. Yeah, nobody walks to an event like this. Yeah, you don't take the train and then hoof it. I mean, you could take a, tra a carriage from yeah. the train station. Out of character, you guys clearly have never been to any of these parties. Nope. <laughs> I, 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 no. I mean... No, I have not. I have one you'll, time, you'll, but you'll I have, was the you'll guy... have to treat us sometime, Drana. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was there one time, but I was the guy parking the cars for them. You know what? So, Bet, yeah. I'm taking you to a premiere next one I get invited to. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I hope it's at TwitchCon. Because that's the <laughs> only time you're going to see me in California for a while. Mm hmm. So, yeah. And if you guys go to anyway. TwitchCon, we'll be over there. We'll see you there. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. But we should also go look into that. Getting kind of location oh. there. Well, then we should go to the middle of the road, then. There are some small B&B &B kind of places that won't raise too many questions. Fair enough. Lead the way, Just. This is your city. Well, we better take a train, then. One silver for the train, please. Of course, my good man. I thing. give him a thousand gold. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you, my good man, change your life because be good for goodness sakes. Hot damn! <laughs> Just runs out of there. <laughs> this job, I'm rich. I wasn't trying to make a Scrooge moment, Jesus. <laughs> you there, boy. Why, it's Christmas Day, sir. Red. Uh, should we do, like, a perception check or something, by the way? That's what I was going to ask. Uh, uh, so or what specifically are we looking for? Uh, kind of our middle of the road, but still, like, a cozy little place that's, like, probably not one of the main thoroughfares, but still, like, a nice B&B &B above, like, the level we were at, but not fancy-fancy. Just, like, oh, this is a nice, quiet, like, oh, this is, like, a little hidden gem place. People don't really come around this way. Sure. Give me a perception check. Perception <laughs> You want to do it, Drona, since you have the better... I keep looking at fucking Scarlet's. Why am sure. I zoomed over yeah, that Why are way? you looking at mine? Well, I keep rotating around to look at our models. Oh, 22. Nice. 22. Nice. So... Taking the strayway between the Bolai District and the Palisite, you end up finding this two-story timber brick building. Unusually high ceilings for this. Like, each, each floor is set up really tall. Uh, titled The Hero's Hobble. Well, this place looks nice. Yeah. Uh, let's head in, see what it's like. Well, see, it's Wait. already improvement. It has a door. I was going to say, God, what's the condition of the front door? There is a front door. Oh, wonderful. Perfect. I entered the door. <laughs> it is locked. <laughs> Darn So yeah, there's very tall vaulted ceilings. Uh, accommodations consist of several small rooms, all with their own like wooden cots in them. 
very like uh almost like a uh almost like a ranch house uh inside is this uh short female dwarf Oh, well, howdy, folks. Howdy. Um, we're, we're looking for a place to stay the night. Uh, you certainly found one here. Welcome to the Hero's Hovel. Okay. Oh. How, how many heroes have stayed here in, in recent times? I'm kidding. I, 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 I'm just joshing with you. Um, I assume she's heard that joke before. Yeah, I'm certain. Oh, well, um, you know, a hero's journey's got to start somewhere, and the hero's hovel's the place for it. Understood. Then. Uh, Have you ever heard of the great house. hero Sentinel Black Line? <laughs> oh, yes, of course. It rings yeah, a bell. The, he, it, isn't he one of the one of the higher ranks in the, the guards these days? Ah, that's a matter of fact. Oh, don't tell me they started from such a lovely abode. Oh, you'd be guessing right here, honey. Well, then, of course, we'd be happy to stay there, partner. Yeah, we would. It would be an honor to stay in the place uh, Black Lion stayed in his youth. But yes, um... I, can I make an insight check? I'm not going to say anything, but I want to see if this woman's BSing. Uh, sure, give me an insight check. <laughs> it, it's a false Yelp review. I knew it. Jeez, I... 24. Yeah, she she is hyping up this place. You 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 imagine ah. this is just the name of the place, and she's just using big names to be like, yeah, they used to start their journeys here before they went into the military. And I'm just like, oh hell yeah, just smile and nod. <laughs> <laughs> Be a uh, nice symbol, f five silver a night. Oh yes, uh, per room, per person per room, or. Uh, how many can a room fit? Well, I mean, they're pretty simple lodgings. Small rooms, wooden cots. A place to rest your head after a long, weary day. Alright, then two rooms should do. That's easy I enough. I suppose three. Alafi is a big guy, and I could share a room with you, John. I don't take much space. I I mean, Captain. All right, three rooms, and uh, I I dropped 15 gold. Oh, sorry, not 15 gold, 15 Well, gold. my... <laughs> <He's> just... <laughs> oh, so, uh, hey, hey so... rock this way! <laughs> yeah. Respect your struggle, respect your struggle. <laughs> you have to earn your tip today. I'm going to have... Yeah, you have five gold. I'll put down a gold every day. <laughs> Got to earn your tip here, lady. All right, but yeah. I give her 15 silver, and so, uh, are, are the rooms locked? Do we need keys, or do we just go up and pick a room? Oh, sure, sure, I can give you a key. Thank you. <laughs> See, uh, we want them all just together, it doesn't make a difference. I suppose we'd like them closer, but it wouldn't make much a difference if it's too much of an inconvenience. Ah, not at all. Got 103, 104, 105. There you go. Thank you. And uh, I hand Joust a key, and who else is with us? Well, I lost track. It's, I think it it's was... just us three. Okay. It's, oh, it and was I hand Tora or... a key, and so I'm keeping the key. Joust has a key, and Tora has a key, because I assume mm -hmm. it's going to be Tora Payne. Mm -hmm. Joust to Lothian than me. 
or right. I wouldn't want to get in your way, Captain. You need all the space you can get, of course. All and right, now remember. We'll probably take a whole bed. Now we're gonna be serving supper at four and dinner at eight. Oh, thank you. I do love down home cooking. Now nah, you'll love it—a nice little dwarven stewed cabbage. Oh, that sounds lovely, right, Jorana? Indeed. Um, stewed cabbage. Does that actually sound like a dwarven meal to me? Stewed, stewed cabbage doesn't. I, don't... I mean, your parents never served you stewed cabbage. I but mean... then again, we came from a different <laughs> yeah place. Different lot. Y'all come from a different lineage. <laughs> well, this is hill dwarf, not mountain dwarf. Yeah, fair. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> that actually would make sense. Yeah, All right. Cabin is good. But yeah, uh, head upstairs to the rooms and we're going just to make sure everything's spick and span. And then. So, where do we go if we want to get a ride? Yeah. Of some sort. Get a carriage, a courier. But there's a few different places, but we would have to at least comedy lounge. With the fall coming up, most of the fancier carriages might be inconvenienced. Understood. I mean, we might be coming in a modest carriage. We might not make the best initial impression, if you know what I mean. That's better than walking. Isn't yes, it? right. We would be. We would be snubbed at, I would say that for sure, if we walked in like savages. Fair enough. We'll just make sure we get something decent enough to look like we belong there. Oh, we can make it look better for sure, but our options might be limited. We'll have to see. But we are going to have to probably pay a bit more with how close it is to the ball. Right. Higher rates, of course. <laughs> just like, mm, yes. By the way, I wonder what Payne's tattoos will look like. Let's not worry about it. I mean, I... These... Hmm. I'm sure we could rent a carriage tomorrow. It shouldn't be that big a deal. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, <laughs> every, every carriage is sold out. <laughs> that, that's my exact thing. And that's going to be the joke we end up walking in anyway. We ought to run in on bicycles and come in. <laughs> E.T. E.T. and drama as we pull you out of a basket. Ah, uh, another royal family rolling up to the carpet. Cling, 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 cling. And the sling right by his <laughs> goes to you. Make sure not to scratch at it, my good sir. <laughs> I'll chain it up to the post. Hmm, yeah, see that you do. Slip on the gold. <laughs> and don't mess up the tassels. I just got those. <laughs> I'll see if you bend those baseball cards, man. I'll be, <laughs> be careful if I were you. But I think that's going to be it for me. <laughs> right. I suppose, yes. But yeah, we could ask around for a carriage. Oh, yeah, and uh, I'll, I'll message Alafi the fucking name of the place. Uh, <laughs> you mean you're going to cast too. sending? Yeah. Yeah, I'll cast sending. Right. And give him a rough idea of where it is. Okay. Neat. Easy enough. You should be able to tell him that this hero's hovel is the north of the market. Okay. Your only response? God. Um. <laughs> and Al. Al. Sorry, got what? Oh, my friend was casting a spell into my head. Don't worry about it. Ah. Goes back to it. <laughs> it's nice having somebody just, yeah, it's a magic thing. I mean, a guy who's who magically implants spells into people. He he kind of gets the gist of it. Four thousand gold, eh? This is not easy ink to get our hands on. Well, I don't doubt it. I'm almost amazed it doesn't cost you more. Well, it's good to have friends in dark places. Literally. Yep. You work with a lot of shadowy folk? Uh, mostly the Shadrakai. Oh, there's I some... I just know uh, of certain 
There's some occasional shady folks that uh, I've had dealings with. I'm just curious. Uh, there's a group of folks that have the way of shadow. Just curious if you happen to come across anything of that sort in your travels. Hmm. Aim doesn't sound familiar to me. Don't worry about it. We uh, furbugs do uh, keep hidden very well. You or, folks got we a little break gun least. in here? Come again? You folks got a little break gun in here? Oh, you know, some of the some of the recruits sometimes have something to prove. Mm. Or a lot of people who just want to look tough, or you know, like I said, be tough. I'm going to be able to see in the dark like you soon. Good for you. Can't say Finally many of them... The night yeah. Can't say many of them are uh, high standing folk, but... You know, some of them like to... improve themselves for the betterment of Falling Fire. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's the excuse, except they only want flex. Oh, sure, a lot of people, and present party excluded, most people come here because they feel like they're lacking something. Oof. A lot of, uh... Have you ever had anybody, have you ever had anybody, like, of note coming here among the Bright Guard? Like I said, it's Any... mostly the occasional guard. Some of them want to get up in the higher echelons so they get the, uh, those weird binding ones. They save for mm. years on end to make sure they can afford it. Yeah, if it sells, it sells. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, no, nobody in particular in mind. Hmm. I have a friend who actually thought about getting one at one point. Friend. She, uh, yeah. But she decided against it. Doesn't like the idea of needles. Hmm. But she liked the imagery of some of the more... feminine-looking tattoos. Oh, I will imagine. It's all an art form within itself. I don't normally go with the cutesy vibes. That's not really my art style, but, you know... Yeah, she was more of the, um, detailed, like, works of art, much similar to the, uh, the other piece that you had showed me, uh, that big piece, but, um, more, more of a smaller scale, like, um, like a rose, like detailed, something like that, yeah. Those actually were her favorites. Hmm. Done a couple of roses in my time. Hmm. Like every pet guard is fun. I mean, it's one of the one of the tried and true ones. You you almost can't pass art school without being able to draw those things. You know, skulls, roses, smiley faces. Hmm. Did you give, I'm, I'm bouncing ideas in my head about what I want to do on the, uh, on the back. And I think I have something, but... Oh, still plenty of time to it. think about it. Hmm. I'm sorry, you're really big. Can you sort of slump down in the chair a bit more? Oh, yeah, sure. Awesome, awesome. As he starts going up, towards, going up towards the bicep. <laughs> One more question for you. And then uh, Gerd needs to talk to the party. What was the name of the lady we're looking for again? Sadio. You ever uh, tattoo someone named Sadio? Sadio. Uh... She 
be able to describe her for me? I'm not good with attaching names to faces. That's absolutely fair. Uh, the issue with that is that she's probably in a disguise. Probably illusory, so if you tattooed anyone who didn't want to show their arm, maybe that's them. We're trying to help this person, but they're in hiding, and trying to help a person who's in hiding is hard. Well, I mean, that makes sense. Right? Usually someone in hiding doesn't want to be seen. We'll help you whether you like it or not. It's, uh... As a matter of fact, though, I do remember doing a job with the other... F uh... Couple of months back. Matches our timeline. Eladrin? I guess to get a proper tattoo, she would have had to drop the form. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that was the thing. She sp specifically came to me for the face tattoo. Mm. Mm. So she could look... Wow. That means that you one... know what she looks like. That would definitely mean that you've uh, certainly seen her. Wow. Have you kept in contact with her by any chance? No, it was uh, just a one-and-done sort of thing. Damn. What was the uh, the nature of that tattoo, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I mean, the masquerade tattoo shapeshifts on command to whatever you wish. You can freely manipulate your size, placement, color, imagery, you name it. There was no limit. Told you it was potent. It's a uh, disguise self at will, right? That's what it is, something like that. More or less, except there's mm, no there's no height limits. That's sick. That's a really good one. Yeah. So, well, thanks for that piece of info. It'll be helpful. I really do hope we can find this girl. And I wish you the best of luck on that. If they're wearing that around, you're not going to see the tattoo either. At least she's safe. At least she's safe. That is the most important thing, but at the same time... Well, then again, what's hunting her can probably see through that disguise. Mm. I suppose if you're going to be looking but for that, you got to go for... The things you know, not the things you don't. Mm -hmm. Also good advice. We're getting a lot of good advice from people we don't really know today. Yeah, it's like NPCs know what they're talking about. You kidding me? You're sit you've been sitting on my chair for hours on end. I would say we're starting to know each other pretty well. I mean, the moment we walked up and started talking about... The blood guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the blood guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm familiar. <laughs> A lot of people don't appreciate it, like, as far as the next guy. Not always about I mean, starting wars. It's about knowing how to end them. As some say... That particular banished deity is two sides of the same coin. The god of war is also a god of peace. From a different perspective. I mean, sure, if you can think of it that way. Hmm. But that's the thing, is that these days, you know, the ideals are a bit black and white. Too Where black and white for my liking. Sorry. I'm just saying, you know. I'd There's rather be indifferent. Gray. Yeah. You should take your own advice. Hmm? You should take your own advice. For what? You know what? We can talk later. Don't worry about it. Where'd you uh, learn about... Our friend, let's call him. Oh, I did a lot of traveling outside of Eos. 
you know, one time I got tired a little bit and wanted to go a bit of the adventure in life. Started heading west, as west as I was able to go. All the way past Winter's oh. Edge and beyond. Interesting. Turns out when you start leaving the country, opinions on them start to change. Hmm. Funny that. I kind of want to tell them about the shrine. I don't think you should say that anywhere in the city. Pen. Hmm. How often do we give away information for free? What are you getting at? Just thinking about the shrine. Alafi? Yes? We leave it alone, okay? I am Sorry. distinctly looking this guy in the face to see if he's interested. He's more focused on the work. Just, just leave it alone, Alafi. Yep, we're good. I wanted to gauge his interest first. Let the man work. We'll have him. I just have respect for a fellow adventurer that speaks of uh, good wisdom. Sometimes some shadowy dealings is exactly what you need to do just the right amount of good. Preaching to the choir. I mean, hello, right here. Yeah, that's exactly why we have you in the party. I'm happy you understood. Um, I am so sorry. Just one second. No oh, problem. okay. But it would be funny to tell him about it. And then, uh, I mean, that's extreme treason and fallen fire. You know. Wow, spaghetti! Oh, yeah. we're already wanted for like highest to treason. It don't matter. <laughs> All right, so, um... Please don't tell me he's unmuted on stream. I think he did. Uh, uh, I'm... Is... Gob, you're unmuted. Gob. Gob, you should mute. Gob. Gob! Nah, I must have his headphones off. Oh, <laughs> that just means we have to be louder. Uh, no. All good. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Okay, so, okay, okay, okay. so, okay. so why mean, don't we do a little bit of planning then? Out of no. character planning. We've got some. We we have a lot of things we need to do. No, we, right. I don't know so, how much we actually need to do. Yeah, I am so I sorry mean, about that. Head. Oh, good. We, we just had heard you on mute, so we're like, oh, we gotta try to distract them for what they're hearing. Uh, uh. <laughs> just, we yeah. were worried that, like, Chow was here and whatever the heck was being said. Oh, no. So we were trying to, like, talk over and make sure that they couldn't hear shit. We're good. Everything's fine. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, how about... So, uh, uh, we... Dom, I already know exactly the kind of uh, tattoo that I want to get. Uh, right. How long is that going to take? Well, it's taking eight hours for a sleeve for a whole back. Mm. That's half a day, yeah. It's going to be another half let, a let day. Let him answer. Okay. Uh, and how much is that going to cost me? Well, if this is just a simple cover-up tattoo, it's probably just going to be 50 gold. Okay, yeah. Um, considering the design for it, uh, yeah, it's, it's not necessarily much of a design as it is more of a metallic kind of uh, thing. 
So that would be all right. Cool, 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 cool. So, uh, just to describe it, um. If anyone is familiar with the uh, the practice of kintsugi, oh. um, that's basically uh, what it is that Payne's going to have on his back, mm. covering up the, uh, the 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 scars. I thought you were going to go with the whole gold motif, like they filling in the it cracks. It is. Yeah. It is a gold motif. Exactly. Yeah. Filling yeah. the cracks. Yeah, that, that's exactly what it is. Hey. I, I, Cons I consider me inexperienced when it comes to tattoo making. I'm pretty sure you shouldn't tattoo scar tissue. You can, you just usually go around it. It's just not the He's ink. He's magic, don't it. worry about it. Yeah, it's <laughs> magic ink. <laughs> this is mainly just like, just like kind of filling in, um, the the idea is just kind of filling in where the, uh, the, the scars are and, and just like. I get you, I get you. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my so as as te technically, uh, technically you can in the real world. It takes more passes because the skin doesn't absorb like unarmed yeah. skin does. Right, yeah. right. And my brain went to Kinsakori because that's what I've known instead of Kintsugi. Yeah, I was like, right, it's a Kori. I was like, oh, does it make sense? Yeah. <laughs> well, Alafi, for you after a long harrowing day of sitting in this chair, being offered water to help you know just keep you you eventually have your whole right sleeve you got this like you got this red soreness around all the black but uh mm -hmm. there actually, you go i've reached a quarter amount of edgy you are only a quarter <laughs> you'll never catch up yeah i know there's no hope all right what do i need to do Uh, well, shirt off, back facing the back end of the chair. All right. And he does. <clears throat> That's going to be half over by the time we get back to the end. Oh, mm -hmm. the other guy's found an inn, by the way. I heard. Uh, since this isn't the uh, not normal tattoo, I can actually get some help in with this one. Hey, Andy! <laughs> Andy is very handy. Hey, you just you see this uh, right there. this average long hair, like brown haired, uh, sort of like uh, tied into a knot in the back of this big bushy beard. The uh, gauges in the ears. A Portland tattoo artist. I get it. Uh, actually, one of my good friends. Ah, nice. Love you, Andy. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd. Nerd. He's Respect. a tattoo artist. What, what do you want me to do? I Give me a discount. I'm, I'm kidding. Wow. You that know, for you, 75 okay. gold. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's cut this scene and jump back to the guys at the end. So anyway, anyway. Yeah, this is going to be... Uh, Payne, give me a con save. All right. You're getting tattoos oh. down on your scar. This is going to hurt. Oh, All yeah. right. Ow. I oh. saw it almost go to that 20. Oh, I my saw it, God. too. It was so oh, close. no. You... That is so lame. You feel the needles going to the edge of your scars, and you pass out. <laughs> I mean, it's easier for them to work, I guess. I can no. hold them up if that'll make it easier. <laughs> yeah, I'll just go ahead. <sighs> oh, it's fine. It just flops like a fish. Oh, jeez. At least they slumped over on the back of the chair. Yep. How long do you think till he, till he starts drooling? Uh, at least by the end of the night. <laughs> I 
They're gonna be sore when they have to go to bed. They're gonna have to lay on their stomach for a little while. You know if your friend was a back sleeper? Um, you know? No, I don't. That's why I asked. I don't know. <laughs> no, nah, I was about to say a joke, but decided against it. All right. It was inappropriate. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I'd have to, like, explain that this one, another person in the party are, like, kind of dating, but kind of not. There's a whole thing. On again, off again. <laughs> out of struggle. Spreading rumors while I'm passed out, are we? <laughs> right in front of you, yes. Dish. Go on. <laughs> he, Payne wakes up for a cycle before pass up. Fuck you. Oh, be... <laughs> I don't know which one tops and which one's the bottom, so it <laughs> joke doesn't really land. Do they Rochambeau for it? I don't know. <laughs> He's so, uh, that sounds like something a lot of people would just do offhandedly. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just, oh, yeah it's like they're a... absolutely dating. They're just not like acknowledging it yet. Right. To, 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 to move this along, you will have your tattoo done by the end of the night. I <laughs> sick. Sorry. But you, you you will be waking up from daytime to nighttime when your tattoo's done. With a very sore back. Okay. That's fine. Wouldn't be the first time. Alright, keep it keep it exposed to open air on occasion, but uh You'll have to have someone apply this lotion. Fine. The motion of the lotion, baby. Oh my god. Don't rock the boat. Yeah. And he just goes over to the mirror and just like looks at it. Yeah, yeah. he has to kind of do like that double mirror thing. Mm. Very nice. But where there's all this black and pewter gray on your outfit lies these just long lines of gold trimming your back in that sort of metallic sheen. There's a small smile that kind of comes across his face. Very uh, nice. I caught up to how edgy you are much quicker than I thought. Fucking... <laughs> what are you on about? I, I set myself up for a joke like eight hours ago. I wasn't going to waste it. <laughs> It's waited to say a joke for right now. <laughs> You're incorrigible. Anyway, uh, where did uh, the group say that they were? Yeah, I'm in a weird mood. Not have to worry about turning into something and slapping people's faces. Don't worry about it. Okay. Except I'm very much going to worry about it. Anyway, um, again, my question still stands. Where are they at? Uh, this way. Uh, I think you can run the rooftops with me. Walking the street sucks. Um, in my current condition, no. Any, any other circumstance? Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's fair. Okay. You're just gonna have to suck it up, Malafi. I'm sorry. No problem. <laughs> oh, it's gotten dark. I couldn't tell. It's so bright. <laughs> Granted, it's dark vision, so whatever, like, corners aren't illuminated are just shades of gray. <laughs> Welcome to the night vision club. Just pats Luffy and just starts heading in the, in the direction that he was pointed to. Uh, and Luffy leaves. A uh, silver train, silver train ride, or uh, a long walk. A uh, silver train ride. Silver train ride. Easy enough. No, my silver is a odd number now. Ha ha. Cringe. No, I wasn't able to roll a D one hundred. Is that? Oh, it's not. It's not sixty nine. Damn. Mm -hmm. You saying we should roll D one hundreds? Only if you walk. No. <laughs> oh. Maybe we should have walked. Could have gotten into some no. trouble just two of us. I don't think we've done no. that yet. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not this close to the masquerade. No, thank you. 
imagine some poor sucker tries to rob us, then we both give him the fucking Just like edgy stare. Like, what are you gonna do about it? Anyway, like Batman and Bane in an alleyway. <laughs> Beat the shit out of this poor guy. Which one's Batman? Which one's Bane? Yes. You be, you be the judge. Get it in the comments, fuck. <laughs> oh no, the question's hard to answer. <laughs> <laughs> Bane or pain? So, so uh, we we head over to the the hero's hovel. Yep, easy enough. What have we been doing for eight hours, guys? <laughs> What's the question? I, ma I imagine Tor has been trying to teach teach you two card tricks. Uh, Joust would probably be pretty good at it. He'd probably show you like a little thing, like just the whole where you shuffle and then it's like one of the three cards. Like, see, it's pretty simple if you know how to do the ripple shuffle. I've seen you do that a few times. <laughs> shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Yeah, this Did you agree with Drana last episode to like teach you to read or something? No, it was a writing. It's her right. That's the one. Right. right. Yeah, that was I'm it. the one that, that promised to teach her how to write. Right. Oh, that was you. Damn. Yeah. We're doing perfect time. So sad. Oh, there yeah. they are. Yeah, the, the way the hero's hovel works is like they have this like long grand family table. It's uh, what is it? Treat it's treated, but it's almost made of entirely out of a cut down tree. You know, it's kind of like That's they cool it's kind of like they laid a redwood down and then just gave it legs. <laughs> and they kind of cut it to fit wow. in this building. And it's it's almost like cafeteria setting where like they just there there's so much seating that you could just find a little corner to sit in and just have your food. Ah, there they are. <sighs> and Payne seems to be shirtless. Hmm. No, no, he's wearing a oh, shirt. <laughs> he's just... it It's a lot looser than it normally mm. is. Just to kind of, like, make room for his back. Right, right. Payne is in pain. You know, as I usually am. Oh, what'd you get done? And, and he just, it. like, pulls his hair back just lifts up so that he can see like uh the edges of it uh from his neck and he can see the uh, the gold sheen you poured metal the, on your back the whole the whole thing yep the whole thing damn mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. fast I had a... i mean it made it easier on the uh on the artist so you know can't complain too much. Mm. Do you like it? I do. It looks lovely then. Were you gonna say it looks like shit? I was going to agree with you, yes. But I like it. Uh, I just want to know your opinion, that's all. Just in here for me on opinions. Oh, well, I'm still working on that subject, but look. Yeah, maybe Joker. form your own opinions. And when you do form your own opinions, keep them to yourself, would you? All right. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he leans again and goes, Dick. <laughs> There's my opinion. <laughs> you did it. You have your own opinion of me. Oh, thank God. Well, I try to be nice and you're nothing but rude sometimes. And that makes me quite cross. And you're right to be cross. I mean, He's finally learning. I mean, I mean, he is still my best friend, and I know deep down he is a softy. Damn it! I'm not trying hard enough. Well, not I mean, so deep. His back's pretty soft right now. Ah. Don't even think about it. Not we... thinking anything about it. You probably shouldn't lay on your back. We should probably get some rest. We have a big night tomorrow. You oh, I found some information about um. I've forgotten her name again. Sadio. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I found out some information on Sadio, by the way. All right. At the, at the tattoo artist. Yeah. Wow, this guy knows a lot of people. He gave her a tattoo. Oh, so it's a woman. 
we knew it was a woman. Well, I'm just saying, we do, we had a name. We didn't really know if it could be a woman. Well, I don't know. Fair. That's fair. <laughs> they apparently. All right, so, uh, okay, fair. Joust, joust. Shut up and listen. Mm. She got the uh, face tattoo that he was talking about. Oh. The mask. Well, so we could be looking for anybody. Oh, this was this wasn't going to be hard enough with the masquerade mask. Great. Yes, but I had one question I really want to ask. Tora, do you know this person at all? You take this long to actually ask? I mean, it's not my business to ask your business. And yet it's your business to ask everyone else their business. Yes, Tora is a dark, mysterious fellow. I mean, look at him. So suave, so charismatic, but dark and mysterious. Unlike you, Payne. Are you sure we can't dismantle him? <laughs> he laugh, he gives uh, you like, <laughs> a couple nudges with the elbow against your arm. Like He's getting it now. He's learning from you. Good job. He's learning to become a dick. He's become too advanced. I can just, I can just, I can just end him. I can just end it sunshine? all. Sunshine? No, no, sun, down sunshine. Down. But yes. I know you I, could. I would stop you. I mean, I was going to ask you, but we kind of got, you know, magically transported here into my home. And now we're just settling down. And before this, I need to find who this person is. You know, well. Hey, um, before we actually answer any questions, how about we go to our rooms, please? I need to. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. All right. Who, okay. Who sh who's rooming with me? Or I will am I room. by myself? I will room with you. I will stand in the corner so you have the whole bed. I figured because Alafi was so big, he would take up most of the room and the bed. That's fair. <laughs> Alafi shrugs. I might try and get to a roof again. Oh, it was nice. Actually, sleep in a bed this time. I can just drag a bed up there with me. No, not onto I, the roof. I think the inn will frown upon that. If not if they don't find out. I think they will. It didn't really fit out the door. You know, if, let's just head you... upstairs, please. Yes, let's let's go there. All right, yeah. All right. Go. Yeah. Unfortunately, the roof is not so easily accessible. There's not even a fire escape. Yeah, but it's got windows, doesn't it? How are you going to fit a bed through a window? Oh, it's got thatch and shingles. <gasps> Damn. And it's in the shape of an upside down V. Oh, no, it's the bad it's kind of roof. Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> the bad kind of. Yeah, it has terrible gutters. Elafi will say that once we're in whatever room. He's like peeking his head completely out the window, looking up like, oh, no, I can't sleep on that. Damn it. I mean, yes, the gutters must be terrible. But yes, Tora, please fill us with your wisdom. So, when I made my departure from the Feywild, it was because I was taking somebody with me. Oh. Wasn't my, wasn't actually my plan to leave. Just once I was out, I decided to stay that way. Well, that makes sense. No. Sadiel's the one I got out. Oh. So Man. she's been the friend that has been mentioned. She's the one that was in the ledger. Oh. And who is she to you? Just a friend or something else? Someone I knew through my work with the noble houses. Oh. Potential you worked for the family, didn't you? Oh no! Uh -oh. Hang on, hang on. This is, noise, this is noise. This noise I'm creating. Yes, uh, da, 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 da. We got to cover this shit up. <laughs> oh jeez, that was bad. It's like, oh no. I didn't. I didn't directly work for the houses. Just in a position where I had to deal with them, which is oh. kind of where I got my distaste for them. Right, right, but. Oh, what of, how, is she? What house is she of? Does she have a last name? Any more information that could help? Hilarious! Oh my gosh, we've been actually paying attention, Giles. I don't know anything of these families. Who is Valerius? What is Valerius? <laughs> I am not from the Feywild. He is the expert. 
Valerius is one of the high nobles of the Autumn Court. Oh, uh, okay. He's writing this down. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. All good. We'll just keep talking about this later. I'm just doing backstory here. Cool. Oh, but yes, of the no Autumn Court. Uh huh. Mm hmm. S S Sadiel is the daughter. She is uh, the one who's in line next to be, I suppose, the focal point of the next ruling house. And do you think that is why they want me to wed this woman? That is supposedly precisely why. Mm. If oh, the god is speaking the truth to us, which I don't think she uh, is. Yeah, yeah. And There's if she's watching, I'm watching you. There's plenty of nobles with plenty of daughters in the Autumn Court. The fact that this is a very specific one doesn't make any sense, unless there's something we're not being told about her. That's yeah. the thing, is that there is something that we're not being told about her, and I think that she knows what it is. If we ask her, then we'll gain a better picture. Right. And with, her, with this tattoo she has, it would be almost impossible to find what she really looks like. But you would know if you saw them. Right, Dora? If she was disguised with this tattoo, then no. Well, I mean, in her, if we could get her true form, is what I'm saying. We might not if, be able to get her true form. I, Keep in mind, even even if she has... She'll recognize Torah. Exactly. So... She will probably not. I have changed my look considerably since we parted. Hmm. It's the hair, is it? myself to look the same. Yeah. Um, I, I think am not. It's the hair. Trust me. Mm, okay. Trust me, that could invite even more problems. Right. In that case, I'm going to shut up and not suggest it anymore. Well, then. We are Hang on. Um, um, Tora, are there any, like, particular quirks about her that you'd be able to pick up on? Anything that you might be able to recognize yes. that is distinctly hers? Did she giggle when she laughs? Anything? Like, for, for example. For example. Mm. Um... Ophelia has a uh, a very distinct accent, so if I were to try and find her among the crowds, I'd start talking to people until I found someone who had that particular accent. She's not very good at hiding it. She would be absolutely abysmal at hiding it. I suppose I would recognize certain Quirks. words and verbiage that someone from the Autumn Court would be using. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if the mask does everything that a disguised self spell could do, but you know, perhaps if her if her voice was out, I might recognize her voice if it's accurate. Okay. I think our best bet to find her might actually be the captain. Okay. How? Well. I've I've seen well. Hmm, I don't know if he would actually know that you could do the detect thoughts thing. I don't know. I've seen, he's heard you in his mind before. I think that's the only thing. Like, if edit. she were to try and read the minds of a whole entire crowd, I could imagine that'd be hmm. very yeah, painful. To her. Right. Yeah. Hmm. That is true. Well, I do have it's, one it's, way, what? but it is chaotic. But mm -hmm. let's let's keep k okay. You have I my know this is. Let's think about this. this. Yes, this is out of. This is this is not in character for me. But uh, let's keep that as a last option. Well, yeah, this is a very well, delicate kind of situation. Here's what it is that we're walking into. All right, we're walking into a gathering full of guards, full of mm -hmm. uh, bright guards, full of saints. Oh, no yeah. worries. And we're also walking into a place that has members of the Ashen Hand. And potentially any vampire skulking around trying to get at the boy again. Exactly. Right. So we're I mean, walking into a powder keg. The less chaos that we can try and incur while we're at this event, the better. Because if anything happens, it's going to be a shit show for everyone. It's not going to be mm. just one oopsie kind of thing. No. Also, do you all know anything about proper dynamic? I know I'm assuming Toro does from someone in the back, but the three of you, as he looks at the rest of like Malafi, Payne, and Drana. The proper what, sorry? The proper dining etiquette. And dance <laughs> and of course in a party etiquette of a 
fall and fire party. I'm going to be in the corner trying to hide myself away from anybody who wants to look at me. Yeah, Unfortunately, same. that is going to be even more attention sometimes. I just got a fancy new magic tattoo to make it easier. Unfortunately, it is... You, you, you will have to be announced. Cool. People know you. I can be unannounced. Mm. That's exactly how yeah, I that is an, That is an option. I'm doing it the is, same. But it so... is a social faux pas. And I, that's what I'm doing. I'm and then a social faux pas so to make it so that people God. don't want to talk to me. It sounds yeah. perfect. Mm. The worst part is I, I can't be the one in the background. I'm going to be the one looking around trying to see if I can possibly see if I can pull Ophelia aside and maybe see if we can get somebody, anybody. Because at this point... Hey, tell her, hey Tara, Five Gold says Ophelia's uh, at the front door. Guard <laughs> I mean... Listen, listen. You know, I, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take that bet. Shake. Time out. Time <laughs> out, okay? Let me, let me make this perfectly clear. We haven't had anybody that we can actually fully trust since the fucking beginning. Well, of course not. We're in the lion's den, as it were, pain. I mean, in general. You can't yeah. trust me? You don't trust us? That's not what I mean. What I mean is we, the general we, the mm. royal we, as, you know, us as a group. Ah, your majesty. <laughs> shut up and let me finish. We haven't had anybody that we could fully trust outside of this group, aside from Jorna's parents. Oh, yes, they were lovely. Uh, Lady Ken We need more people that we can actually trust and actually have positions of power. Or at least position of influence. That Ophelia would... is our best bet. Then I'd we think... shouldn't go to this party. Yeah. We should just not go, and then we find have her. to go. Well, then we're not going to be able to get her trust. Then we're going to <laughs> fuck around what? and find out. <clears throat> Pain. We're looking to essentially find a person who doesn't want to be found in a hornet's nest of an of uh, not our allies with another bunch of enemies coming in trying to kill everyone. Can I at least state my case? Oh, We weren't going to stop you from talking to the person you want to talk oh, to. Yeah. Of course, go no. ahead. My point is that at the very least we need somebody that we can actually fully trust and actually can do something as an ally on our behalf and someone that we can guarantee you know that can actually do what we would like for the long run what i'm saying is that at this point <sighs> fucking hell now you've all gotten me scrambled you want some lasts and change with people in power is what you're saying then we should turn ourselves in no stop that's not what i'm saying okay we're gonna ignore the rest of the party for a second we'll find this avelia don't worry too much about it right of course I'm just saying, my job I'm looking to do is to Let find Let the party place. bugs be the party bugs. You and I will find her. If she can help keep most people away from me, that works for me. Position she of power, do you think she'd be the type to be ignored? Ophelia is the type of person that will help people whenever she can. She is a goody two-shoes through and through. I hope she right. actually cares about her people. Oh. I wonder why and she's I would definitely like to meet this person. Mm. I think you two would get along quite well. Mm -hmm. And with that, we have our plan. Right. Pain and I will look for Pain's there friend. Is, there is one more thing to know, just, just in case. Yes. We... 
there's a chance that if Sadiel is at this party, she's going to be accompanied by an elf woman. An elf woman? It's the reason I got her out in the first place. Oh. It's... That's her girlfriend. Oh, this is an awkward thing, then. Well, then, I guess the arrangement is off. <laughs> it's just crosses his arms. Not if Elias has anything to say about it. To fuck the gods. Dag, so wait, does Joe actually say that out let's loud? Not, let's not. No, he thinks in his brain. He's And then, like, his head explodes. <laughs> like, no, that's just <laughs> in my head. Like, just like, fuck the god. No, Joss thinks about it. He's like, I will not stand in the way of love. I will not. Just as well. I want to know. I want to be able to talk to her before we do anything that Elias wants of this. Oh, you know, I just want to make sure they're safe. But the issue is we are in a hornet's nest that's about to be attacked by spiders. Or oh. bats more. Yeah. <laughs> now, on that note, actually, there's a very important thing to note for the batch of us. Um, we have a tendency of trying to help as many people as we can. There are times where things go so wrong that you might need to fend for yourself for a bit. If things start getting really bad, do not take shame in running. Okay. We're all pretty good runners. Between hey. magic and other shenanigans, or strength in some of our cases. Looking should, we, should we agree to meet back if here or somewhere safer? If shit goes south and we all get separated. Took a night here at a more prestigious inn. I think if things go poorly, we meet outside the, uh... Oh, I forgot the name of the other place we were just at. The Cup? Yeah. Or whatever Minstrel's that one is. Cup? Yep. Minstrel's Cup. cup. Mm. Yes. Alright, but yeah, if shit all goes south, we all meet, lay low for a day and then meet up in the morning. That sound about right? And if we are captured, we do not let it, let anyone know where the rest of they are, all right? None of us will get captured. I'm just saying, worst case scenario. And if I am taken captured, we all worry about that when if it happens or if anything happens, all right? All right. But we, but we all, but please, please be on your best behavior here. Violence is the last resort, all right? There's going to be violence no matter what tomorrow, Jack. Yes. Let us not be the one to throw the first punch then, Jana. For now, the only the only way I intend to slay anyone is with my outfit. Ah, yes. Do we also have all... an option of when chaos breaks. As much as we run do we all might might we might be able to escape with the crowd. Exactly. Exactly. We don't right. necessarily have mm -hmm. to fight. Violence is the, the spiders last. in the hornet's nest. Yeah. Keep in mind, yeah, it is a masquerade. The masks do come with a certain level of safety. If we need that to get uh, out, go ahead and take it. But yes, I just want to make sure all of you stay safe. But if you need anything, we all know where to find each other, right? Yep. Because I am worried. But also, I'm excited because I haven't been to a good party in forever. As he claps his hands, like, then, yay. Then <laughs> let's get some sleep. All right, I can't sleep. I'm going to make sure we get a carriage. And he just runs yeah. out, like, go get a <laughs> carriage set up. <laughs> <All right. laughs> um, so. My arm hurts. I'm going to sleep now. So, uh, to simplify things, um, you will be getting your long rest. And yeah. whatever final preparations you have to make before the masquerade, do them now. The only thing I could think of is... So, I do realize an issue. I'm going to be without my armor, shield, or weapon. Yikes. Ooh. Oh, they would be taking our weapons, wouldn't they? Yeah. Uh, I want to try and see if I can stash my, uh, my uh, uh, bloody Maggie dagger. Any any uh, stashing somewhere. of the weapons will be sleight of hand checks if you want to try to bring a weapon in with you. You yeah. got it. A bag of holding. Any... Yeah, we yeah, we have a bag of holding. Uh where where do we keep the bag of holding? Do we keep the room one more night? Like 
What? Yes. We're, I'm we're gonna going keep. To... I'm gonna keep the withering in the bag of holding. Is we can put all the weapons in the bag of holding. It'll take us a couple turns to pull all the weapons out, but like, we won't be. Able oh my to... god. Are, oh, we is... are we sneaking in a bag of holding? Yeah. How are you gonna? I mean, I could keep it in my chest, but I don't trust that. Mm. Much, much like any big event, they will be searching bags. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's gonna be. It's gonna be safe here in your chest. We could put it in my hair. <laughs> Tie it to the back of my head. Covers a lot. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I have room to fit, like, maybe one thing inside me. I'm wearing a lot of clothes. The thing is that we might get stuck at the door because... Oh, wait, no. There's probably going to be other robots there, aren't there? I am not going to be dressed as a gear forged. I am in disguise. Yeah, there's a discount I... Giorno. Hey, the Giorno. But yes, Sorry. That, yeah, that is why Ratchet I have That is why I have augmented my arms to be a different color. As you can see, they are silver. Mm -hmm. Then let's stick all of the stuff we can in the bag of holding. I'm not going to set my armor in there. I'm... So I'm going to have to find a place to stash that separately. Like I, I said, we will... Must... Both I of my trusty weapons into the then. bag of holding. Because clearly I can't fucking stash the gun, and uh, this thing is too sharp, and I don't want it to fucking make a tear in my clothes. Uh, Alafi, as far yeah. as you know, the only people are, who are wearing armor are going to be the Bright Guards, and the one fire giant who's too stubborn to take his off. <laughs> right, I yeah. forgot we were going to see that fucker here. Well, mm. we're going to see him sitting out on the lawn, probably. <laughs> like... Oh, Morgren's going to be pissed when he sees him. Oh, father. Mm. Try Powder keg in every regard. No. Uh, Try to keep him contained as best as you can. Yep. I apologize if I throw the first punch. <sighs> please, please try not to. And also, it went in Well, doubt. I'll try not to, but if it happens and I happen to slay a giant tomorrow, then, uh, bonus. Well, when in doubt, pinky out, everybody. Today, now, I guess. Yeah, you know well, that doesn't actually sleep. work, right? Um, mm hmm all right. Do you think they'll take my hand wraps from me? They don't look that threatening. No, probably <laughs> not. No. I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I'm taking cards in. <laughs> though, yeah, through, like... through the, through the layers of the, through the layers of the, of the outfit, I'm not sure they'll find it. <laughs> Even if I they mean, are looking. I mean, anyway. slay to or a slay. Uh, so what time is our pickup for tonight? Uh, the ball is happening directly after sundown. Mm -hmm. It is planned to go on for five hours. Yeah, okay. could, the, uh, could I have, like, right before, as everyone goes to bed, see if I could secure carriage stuff, and that's the last second preparation I would be doing, just so we could at least have a, so, something to get us there. You know, how, how fancy? Barely fancy. Joust would be looking for it. <laughs> Remember where you got the wood? Mm-hmm. You're in luck? They have one more steam-powered vehicle available. Well, this is how you make a statement. All for the nice rental fee of a thousand gold per night. Ah, well, that's a steal, my good man. All that's right, dude. Now, do I to... <laughs> so I just, I just have to crank this thing you, to move. You forgot forward. I gave him that voice, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, well, fucking did. Yeah, Jazz all is right. like, no, I remember, all right, friend. <laughs> like, I remember you, old friend. Yeah, and yeah, you see, Jess will definitely like have that ready. I think I'd have to have a carriageman with it, wouldn't I? Hmm. As long as you know somebody who can turn the wheel. All right. Well, I guess I'll have to get that in. But thank you, sir, and I'll have that preparation. And I'll see if I can hire a driver for us tonight—a coachman and a driver. Uh, give you a good idea. Uh. This little yeah. Thing. Uh, imagine this seats the party. Uh. Oh, oh, sick! Yeah, Jaws could drive that. Hell yeah! <laughs> yep. All right. 
Oh, this is some like League of Extraordinary Gentlemen type type of shit. I love that. <laughs> Excellent. Oh hell yeah, Just, yeah. Joss is like, oh, I could drive this. I don't need a driver. <laughs> Can we just fast forward to when we're getting into the sucker now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm down to fast forward. Muscava yeah. says things he wants us to do, of course. Yeah. This is your last chance. I think uh, that, uh... Yeah, no. I think we you know what? Got a in lot of his time, are there any potion sellers in town? Potions. Because I'm about to empty out their stock of healing potions that's a smart idea at least have well, we could each have one in our pocket or in like a in the in the bra uh, zone or whatever for us. there is a potion peddler in the market district they have six of your standard healing potions for 50 gold each Ooh. i will take them as a bottle 300 gold all right done and done Uh, I will keep two potions for myself and give one potion to everyone else. Now, I, I had to take some liberties with the, this map, so you will have to ignore the name on the map. Okay. All right. That was good. I dig it. Uh, uh. Oh, should we get fancied up? Oh, yes. It's we time should. for you to switch oh, into no. your masquerade outfits. Let's go! Yeah. 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 All night for this one. Masked or unmasked mm -hmm. is the question. Masked. I would assume we start masked. We are masked. Oh, oh, I'll have to adjust a loppy there. Masquerade. Sorry. It I deleted know, I, my I gold? Adjusted, I, I didn't adjust the canvas like I should have. It's All fine. All right. It changed my character sheet. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to re-add your healing potions if you just change that. Oh shoot, you're right. Yup. Oh, how many uh, healing potions are you handing out? One each. Yeah, okay. If he gets two and there was six, yeah. Bob, little... what was the eye tattoo called again? Uh. uh... The Shadow fella? The Shadow Mark brand. The Shadow brand. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, right, because, yeah, it, did, it didn't update all, anything at all. Mm -hmm. I'm the only I'm the only one with a model for my outfit. Listen, oh, sorry. So happy with it. Yeah, that looks so good, by the way. Yeah, I'm sorry that we didn't can't change our Hero Forge, like, every time. <laughs> gotta just realize I gotta just tore it. But or yes, everyone, dressed? we all have lovely reactors by Scarlet, except for me, sadly. Haha. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> I know I am missing out of a Scarlet original. You are missing out on a Scarlet original. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Just wish yes, the uh, Wild Mount soundtrack started. had more ball music. <laughs> yes, that is true. Drana has always been sexy, has not just gotten sexy. That is correct. <laughs> that, that is facts. And this is still the um uh the household of the um estate. What's that? This is the estate of the um of the family. What it what's uh, again? No. Uh, you are in oh. the Citadel of Light. Oh, right. I forgot about that. This is the Grand Hall where you could be face to face with Keen himself. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I forgot about that. Yeah, we are dead center of Fallen Fight. We're fucked. Yeah, we're fucked if we get caught. No, it's fine. Jaws, don't you just want to go ape shit? <laughs> we're fabernacked uh, if you all have your uh, names that you wish to be pronounced in you may present that in the open bar so I may announce it uh, okay I'm sorry. as you see p more people rolling in just like introducing Master Gian of Durandarol 
Mr. Hephaestus Morrison. Young Mr. That's William bad. Morrison. Lady Oratrice, Duchess of Mechanique, daughter of Lady Danalise, founder of the Order of the Cardinal. <laughs> yes! Like a cheese stick in his cardinal. Oh my god! <laughs> so oh my god. smooth. That's uh, for him. Yeah. Uh, here's mine. Oh. <laughs> cool, bro. Shut the fuck up. No, I was just like reading it, like, oh, okay. My brain. <laughs> Sorry, I thought my brain had a stroke. Mm -hmm. Presenting Lord Sorry. Ratchet DeJourno of the Mechanum Gearforge Guild. Dorina, yeah. Queen of the Northern Coast. <laughs> Master hey. Crow. And they just let you in unannounced. <laughs> Delivery, no, he's DiGiorno. Yes, exactly. Delivery, yes, Lord DiGiorno. Ratchet DiGiorno. Mm -hmm. So, hey, you know who we're not gonna go talk to? These guys. <laughs> See this Clearly. grand hall, these tall Roman pillars that jet up to the ceiling up to 70, 80 oh. feet up. It is a grand palace, and surrounding you are the many guards and nobles that are presented here. You hear a band playing this wonderful orchestra. So, mechanically speaking, here's how this is going to work. Oh boy. Uh, you are all going to be rolling initiative. <laughs> okay. And on your turn, you decide what room you're going to be in and what you're going to be doing in that room. Okay. The nobility will also be taking these actions as well. All right. But... So I would like you all to roll initiative. I guess, yeah, roll Don't initiative. Be... Sorry, oh, right. I'm staring at things in fear. I, I see Slambo and I'm scared. Yes. Oh no, there's oh, a certain see... character here that makes me yeah. very afraid. I think it's the same one I spotted a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The uh, B? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. There's a B anyway. Uh, oh, nat 20. Oh. <laughs> oh. 24. So you will oh. notice that some folk are <gasps> indeed not Nine. wearing masks. And those are ways to indicate the authorities in charge for like quick access to security mm. so the bright guard aren't masked uh the saints aren't masked this is how we die we'll be fine <laughs> it'll be fine we just have to not go crazy at the sight of a giant uh go anywhere near saint baronador um Hope that Slambo doesn't say our actual names out loud because he knows every single one of us and is allowed. Oh, that's guy. true. Yeah. <laughs> like Trey knows the Sanguine Band and we're wanted, so he's here too. Also a problem. Also, the band. It's a pattern just... everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. We're dead. We're <sighs> dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We there is so much that could go wrong here. Allow me to show you how social encounters are even deadlier than actual encounters. Hmm, <laughs> that's why I'm a bot. Is that, uh, have you put yourselves in line in the order? Oh, sorry, that's what I was going I, to do. I did. I wrote them, I think. I have a 24. All right, hey, and- Lafayette is frozen in panic. The nobility will be going here. on 20. Ah. Boom. 
like the turn, like the lair order. All right. That being said, Joust, you are thrust into the delves of nobility. This wonderful majesty of lavishness, food, celebration, as well as trying to gain favor and social status amongst your peers. What would you like to do first? You may decide which well, room you wish to be in first. Then you can decide what room, what you would like to do in that room. Well, all the uh, rooms quick, are also uh, numerically ordered in the corner. A quick blurb for everyone that uh, uh, to see what Joust is wearing. By the way, uh, very. Uh, it's hard to if you can't see in the reactive, but kind of golds and browns, very much a lot like. Uh, <laughs> Like um, a certain uh, Vidalkin's uh, outfit, but definitely seems more mechanized and practical, but still gold and fabulous. But the fabulous like accommodation that looks to go with his arms seems to look like they've been augmented, like they've been humanoid arms that were replaced. But his face is mostly covered by a fox max, but his eyes still glow a pinkish glow underneath it with the screens. But uh, you can't have to see, but underneath, of course, is um, is his powdered wig, and he's wearing a fine, uh, white, a tall-brimmed black hat that is then, then, of course, pressed with the best of mercury to give that fine tip. <laughs> like, mm, yes. like, all right. So yes, ja yeah, Joust is among the thing. He just nods to all of you, like kind of tips his hat, and he says, "Good day, then, everyone," and just like voice completely different as he's like, "Enjoy the party." And um, let's see, I will, of course, see, let's see, I'll glance about the room. Um, this this is just the general what I just said. Just uh, kind yes, of you are currently in the Grand Hall. The Grand Hall, all right. Um, you see I would, uh, between every door is a set of bright guard guarding the entrances, keeping notes of the people going in and out of these rooms just for the sake of security. Between them are just large, bright guard, paladin-like statues. Mmm. Yeah, like large marble statue things. Yeah, they're like each bearing bearing like a shield and a spear. Right, right, right. Um, well, um, I would see. Uh, well, I want to, of course, try and uh, see notice of all the most odd people out there. And a giant in Slambo seemed to catch my eye, so I'd be like, hmm, yes, I might <laughs> say to an old friend, hmm, yes, mm, that's the, quiet. Mm. The two armor clad people who are too stubborn or too stupid to take their armor off. Yes, I will kind of uh, chasse my way over them and just at least be like, like uh, see, kind of ge gauge the general just and see if there's a fine time that I could slip into the conversation. Um, as you make your way over there, you can hear the thundering laughter coming from this giant it almost booms over the music itself from just how heavy and hearty he is. Kind of like catching this sort of like boast off of accomplishments they've done in the mm. name of their own vices or lords. Mm. Uh, I will like kind of come over and like just at least step into the view of Slambo. It's like, I believe you are the great Slambo if I've heard correctly. Uh, are you trying to remain anonymous right now? I mean, it's kind of... If he really looks at me, he would know who I am. Like, it's like, in general... No, but you look at my chin, of course it's fucking Joust. <laughs> like, like, most people would know. Slambo, I think, would look and know. Like... I don't mean, know. He probably even saw me... Don't like, overestimate no, him. him. <laughs> uh, I mean, it is Slambo, though. That is true. Um, I'm just asking, I would at I'm least... asking you if you're trying to remain anonymous. I would want to remain anonymous, but I'll still at least like kind of point a pinky over and cast a message to Slambo. Be like, Slambo, it's Joust. Like, you know, the dude, the bro. Yeah. I, if anything, I could do a little like pinky wiggle at him, holding like a glass of wine as he grabs it from like a tray coming by. <laughs> like, to, mm, yes, come by. Yeah. All right. But yes, I do have mission maps. And I'll be like, and I'll just like kind of introduce myself. Like, I, in this uh, uh, extraordinary gentleman here, I have not caught your name, sir. 
as I'm kind of looking up at him. Hmm. Is the puny guy talking to me? Oh, I do not mean to offend. I, of course, someone of small size. There's nothing to someone of great stature as yourself, good sir. Uh, don't let GN get to you. A uh, GN? I've heard of him. Of Drandral, if I am not correct, mistaken. Mm. Your greatness travels far, friend. Does it now? And Indeed. what have you heard of the great Jean? I have heard that your strength is second to none. Besides present company, of course, Sir Slambo. Two of the greatest fighters I know in this entire continent standing before me. It it honors such a humble, uh, humble musician as myself. Then please humble me more. What sort of legends have you heard of me? My accomplishments? Surely there's one that sticks out to you. Well, some say that you have ran across the entire country in what would take a, a wagon even a month, but it only took you a few days. I they think you're referring you to me, straight. brother. Oh, yes. Sorry, different voices. Different voices, yeah. Sorry, it's very similar to him. As, uh, as Jen, I was like, I heard that an entire city could not bend itself to your knee and subject and you subjugate an entire race of people as though they were nothing. Mm. Such as the strength of the giants, though. The strength of giants. Or the strength of you. And the weakness of the folks beneath them. Hmm. I see. As they say, some people are just better than others, am I right, Master Jen? I'm sorry, it seems that mask is getting a little brown. And who oh, are you God. supposed to be? I am Lord Ratchet, sir. I work with the Mechanicum. As you can see, I, my body has been augmented from some say the weakness of flesh. Hmm. It is, I will of course, have to test this weakness myself. I do look forward to it, but I would love to hear of your other accomplishments and your other great deeds, perhaps written to song someday for the people here to know of your exposés. I've heard the tales of Slambo and his delicious sandwiches, but not of you, good sir. Yeah, we'll get them to the Highlands someday. Ah, yes, of course. I just wanted to introduce myself, sir. But you all enjoy your party. And if you do wish to talk, I am always around, Master Jin. And of course to you, Slambo. This is less of a talking session for me. I'm merely an observant to the king. Ah, of course. Yes, I mean, it's still good to see such strength witness among such petty people. I must say, amongst these folk, I'm not impressed. Hmm. Looks are deceiving. But, I suppose some people just show the cards up front and some keep them hidden. Well, I don't want to bother you too much. You enjoy the rest of the party. As he kind of tips and just like starts walking through the crowd a little bit and kind of raises the glass at least to one of them as he leaves. All right. So that will be your turn. Mm -hmm. um, it should be noted mm -hmm. that each of these rounds is essentially going to be an hour of the ball. Right. I figured it was like, yeah. So we, you have five rounds. Mm -hmm. gotcha. 
five rounds to find our respective targets. Oh, yeah. And not die. Mm. I'm trying to distract the uh, I have a there. prediction uh, on where for his friend is, but I'm getting huh? that right now. Uh, with that, it is going to be the nobility's turn. Did we manage to sneak the bag of holding in? Did you use a sleight of hand check? Uh, we hadn't exactly did decided. We, on... Did we? Did we nix the plan of just shoving it into Joust? Oh, that was the plan, wasn't it? I mean, I guess it would still be a sleight of hand to try and stuff it into me. <laughs> uh, yes, it would. I don't know. I can always help with the disguise kit. Make it seem like you can't be opened. I mean. I mean, Just with, looking for advantage on your roll. I mean, with that mm. many layers. I mean, I got a lot of layers on. Oh, I guess just wearing a shirt's probably enough. I'll yeah. allow it. So, slide a hand to smuggle Pack. the bag of holding into Joust with advantage. <laughs> so you have to kind of scoop out some other stuff like Bender. Okay. That is terrible. All right. Mm. Okay, I have a yeah. bulge in the back. That was in it, fact terrible. It, it's almost like uh, it's almost like you're using fillers to puff out your chest. <laughs> yeah, you've stuffed I, your I, shirt with cotton. It looks like there's a bad kerchief inside my chest, like a scarecrow. <laughs> Hopefully, the guards take no mind. I can play it off. I got it. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, so. So at the first half hour, the ballroom, the hall doors open, allowing access to the uh, main throne room. And you will see some of the nobility begin to pull their way through. Okay. Tell how tense we are, but just how quiet we're being now. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, who's moving? Who's moving? Uh, Lady Archery's is a dragonborn. Uh, a silver dragonborn, and by her appearance, she has doubled down on such appearances. She has essentially decorated her mask to sort of reinforce her silver like qualities. Like, her mask is silver. She's wearing this long flowing silver gown like one of those that like drags across the back by a couple feet almost like a wedding gown are there accents of blue somewhere in her uh, attire just for me um do you see that lining the mask that she wears of the silver dragon is just a straight line of sapphires across the the middle of the mask going up. <laughs> the Autrice Mechanique de Nelis Cardinal. Alright. Uh, so, I'm up next? Or... Uh, with that, that is everybody that has wanted to move has now moved into the throne room. That would put you next, Rana.
Where would you like I to go and what would you like to do? I'm going to follow the crowd and try to blend in. All right. Yes, the goblin is going to tr is going to try to blend <laughs> in with all the tall people. I'm sure there are plenty of halflings and gnomes here too. So, yes, don't don't. I'm also kind of operating under the assumption that like this space is much more filled than it looks, and that this isn't the only yeah. nobility here. I I only wanted to put in as many essential. I mean, right. there's a giant horse now for some reason, but. <laughs> <laughs> That that was me closing a the Discord thing. I am sorry about that. A law force was here. Yeah. Let's hope we don't have to use that later. Yeah. Just just assume that there is a a full ballroom. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I, I I guess I'm going to just mingle with the generic nobility. You know, the, these three, I guess. Right. Uh. You're just gonna blend in. Uh, that would be a stealth check. Okay, well, at least I'm not disadvantaged this time. Doesn't mean I'm good at it, but I'm not at disadvantage. Mm -hmm. 11. 11, alright. Hey, you're not in your armor. <laughs> Actually, even in my armor, I don't have disadvantage because it's mithril. Oh, you're yep. right. Huh? Beyond yeah, mingling and blending in, at least to the best of my ability. All right. Nice and simple. Uh, Tora. All right. Um... Um, I'm going to, okay, so I'm going to move this over here. All right. Just take a quick observation of uh, Leo Retrice and the three around her. Yep. You see what appears to be uh, an elven butler next to Lady Oratrice. And what appears to be two tabaxi nobles. They're a lot more easier to identify just by a sheer glance than it is to discern humanoids in masks. Right. He's... Yeah, I'll, I'll just say over them. Good evening to you all. Tor will take one of his usual bows. Um, so, to, so just for the, just for the people at home, uh, to actually get what's going on here, Tora from the waist up is in this, uh, black vest with this large, large, um, uh, lapel, all gold trimmed, still has his familiar, uh, diamond pattern, except it's now black and dark gray, uh, you know, uh, white, you know, white sleeves to, to compliment. And then, like, around the midsection, orange sash. So, below the waist, two-layer flowing dress. Frills and all. <laughs> the upper layer is the same black and gray diamond pattern. Below is the, is the diamond pattern in the matching white. Gold frills at the bottom. And slightly taller because he's wearing heels. Kane is not jealous, uh, and he is also not staring. Flawless. Absolutely flawless. Yeah, I should... Totally. Also, because this is glamour weave, uh, when Tora's hips move as he walks in this, as the dress kind of shimmies back and forth, it looks like gold glitter is falling from the waist and pooling into clouds at the edge of the gold frills. Oh, that's like really mom, good. Like dust almost that sick. Dean is absolutely not staring. I have no idea what you're talking about. 
<laughs> Who is he? I'm not going to look. You're not going to be able to see through the clothes. Huh? What? Now, uh, here's the important thing, Gob. Mm -hmm. Here's where the plan is. Um, I am gauging reactions to the appearance. And I am looking for the same surprise that Sadiel had when I said I was getting her out of the Feywild. All right, oh. so... You are going to roll me insight checks. Only 11 on that one. No. Oh. So... The, the reaction you're gauging here is uh, that of impressed nobility. They sort of ooh and ah at the outfits, and they're just this curious about them, just like, Well, who do we have here? I haven't seen you around these bars too often. This is coming from the, uh, the backseat here. <laughs> the visitor from the autumn court i was in town lucky enough to get an invite and i never turned down a good party ah folks from the feywild grace us with that presence Yes, it's a it's been a wonderful night so far. I'll be honest. Um, being uh being from the Fey, I was not aware of Lady Ortrice and her very very Im impre impressive status. Like I was actually curious. Oh, surely you have heard of the Order of the Cardinal. is one of the main factions that is trying to broker peace between Falling Fire and the Dragons of Everspire. It is a thankless task that I do, but slowly but surely we are trying to acclimate ourselves to Falling Fire's culture in order to bridge the conflicting gaps between our people. Well, thankless that it may be, it's certainly a noble goal. I am humbled you think so. Mm. Perhaps one day the Order of the Cardinal may find good graces within Alea's. I certainly hope so have much of history to blame for the blood between our people. I would do so to make that history come to rest. And what of you? What have you come in representing Alea's and the, the, the Fey courts? Well, I must admit, part of my fun at a masquerade is keeping the illusion of the mask for now. <laughs> Very well, keep your secrets. As long as you enjoy yourself, right? That's what this of is course. all about. And I'm sure I shall. And I hope you enjoy your evening as well. From your conversations with them, you glean that there's no chance of her being here. Got it. Pain. All right. Uh, 
If I recall correctly, uh, Ophelia would be in uniform and standing guard. Correct? You have heard that the saints as well as Ashen Hand would have a presence here. Okay. Um, are there any uh, immediate saints or Ashen Hand uh, like presence within this room? Well, first of all, wh- which ro- are you going to be staying in this room? I, I want you to decide um, that first before making these checks. Yeah, I'm staying in this room. I just want to gauge. All right. So, uh, yeah. In that case, I want you to make me a perception check. Perception. Okay. Twelve. Twelve. Um, coming and going from these rooms appears to be servants, bakers, cooks, staff. You surmise that the bright guard here are simply guarding the quarters for all the workers that are making this ball possible. Like no sense of uh, any higher ups in this vicinity. Okay. All right. So, Alafi. Yeah. Here's who we're looking for. We're looking for a young woman, fair-skinned, brunette. She'd likely be in uniform, likely standing guard somewhere. God. So keep your eyes out and keep your ears out as well if you hear a particular accent. It will be falling for your native. I don't know what that is. German. Laffy doesn't know what that is. He's never been here before. <laughs> You'll know it when you hear it. You yep. will know it when you hear it. Trust me. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think with that, I'm going to move over to the throne room. Well, you you decided to be here to make the perception check, so this is mm-hmm. this is where you'll be. That's why okay. that's why I asked well, first. Okay. Um. Yeah. All right. That just leaves with the lobby. At the end of the first hour. Internal screaming. Um, (laughs) Ilafi is going to do his version of laying low for the first hour, which is running to a comfort person. Your emotional support joust. And slam up. Guys, I hate this place. Oh, oh, it is you, Ilafi. Ilafi, while he's moving around, will go ahead and uh, perception check nearby guards and whatnot to see if I can't spot Ophelia. Uh, all right. Uh, perception check. Perception. Oh, hey, I barely recognized you there. Yes, Slambo, it is also me, Joust, but I am being low. I am Lord Ratchet, okay? You, uh, normally people wear a mask to these things, Slambo. Uh, 17. There, there appears to be some women in the Bright Guard, but none of them match the description. And Alafio, uh wave to pain and say or wave to the next room basically pain will nod and uh, next turn he's making to over to the throne room what's your take on that giant you were talking to oh tough as nails dude brother also kind of an asshole He's likely in direct line of the giant that enslaved my people. Mm, my kids. Mm. I said said the king appointed him to be a representative. I don't know what Keen's thinking, having someone like that so close to Guy and all that. I believe it could be a ploy from him. As far as, as far as I know, he's here to eye out the weaklings. Test the Maybe strengths the of the nobility of Fallen Fire. Be 
crazy like me. He's here to flex, brother. Definitely looked like he was trying to swing his uh, dick around, as they say. Ooh, but I gave him a swinging of my own. Ew, gross. The big things crazy. come in the small packages, brother. Oh, God. I, I, <laughs> they, just I the down low, I hear thing. that. Ilafi is like, Leaning back, trying to pretend he's not part of this conversation. If opportunity arises, and there ends up being a moment where I can fight this giant, I'm going to take it. Try to Don't help it me. Try to take it outside. Ooh, I'm going to let him take the first swing regardless. Good. Lafayette, as you this say that with your good. perception check, you see some of the guards squinting at you. Mm -hmm. They heard me? You think they heard you. Interesting. That hour one of the ball is going down. Uh, a lot of food is now getting sent to uh, Feast Hall in number 10. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Right over here. Right. Okay. And with that, uh, Joust, your turn again. At hour two. Uh, as, as he like kind of like has his wine glass, he kind of does a quick little point over to Lafi and he says, "Try to keep things on a whisper level. It might be the palace that lets you hear." He'll be casting messages. He does it like just a little finger point as he'll make his way into the throne room, and then a quick look around. I think he would go. Um, and noticing that he sees that there is some probably more bright guard over here but he would probably go to this uh, small child because for some reason he's curious when he saw that coming in Ooh. Hmm. Mm. like it's almost like a weird like puppy dog head tilt thing like hmm and he's like almost instinctively walking towards them um you saw them as they were proclaimed in hmm while they are wearing masks, uh, right. the faces of William and Hephaestus Morrison. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I heard them announce, and then just like for some reason, I'm just like Morris and oh, those are the ones that are wearing masks. Like in my brain, <laughs> oh yeah, or like that's the one that's hosting the party, right? I would come up and I'd be like, I'd be like, good day, sir. Ah, uh, good day. Enjoying the masquerade, are we? It is a lovely party, of course. I believe you are one of the people responsible for helping host it. Oh, no, 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 no. This is all done by the good graces of Keen, my friend. Ah, may his light never fade. Indeed. I'm so thrilled that my little son gets to see this for himself. Oh, uh, this is your son. Greetings. My name is Ratchet. What is your name, young sir? Uh, Joust, are you trying to remain anonymous? Uh, he kind of like, like, I mean, he's gonna get kind of get leaned down, so I think he, for a moment he would definitely kind of try to, like, for some reason he's just seeming to want to connect a bit more, so he's not gonna be anonymous. Right, so he kind of comes down. He's just like, mm, like kind of this, like you know, if you talk to a kid and you're about tall, you kind of get that, like, hey there, champ, how's it going? <laughs> like, gotta get on a knee, like, well, hey there, friend, go away. Oh, Ooh. I, 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 I'm sorry, I don't know what's come over him. Oh, he's I, he's I, just I, he's just gotten over a fever and he's he's just getting better. Oh, that's all right. I just wanted to be polite. Well, I hope you enjoy your party. I... And I'm sorry, your name was William? No! Go away! Oh. Ah, well, I... I apologize, I overstepped. It is good to see you, sir. And you see, like, Joust almost dejectedly, like, just kind of set his, like, drink, uh, like, on the, um... Mm -hmm. Joust, roll me an insight check. Yeah. Yeah, Joust is, for some reason, he's feels sad. Sadness. 
Oh wow, I have a plus. Actually, uh, it would be plus two, so it's actually a plus eight because uh, jack of all trades. It's half of your perception, right? Or half of your uh, proficiency, right? What? Yeah. Uh, jack yeah. of all trades. Uh, well, I mean, it would be either. Let's see, jack of all trades. I gotta double check that because off the top of my head, jack. It's half proficiency. Yeah, so it would be. Uh, it would be that. So it's um, uh, sixteen. Sixteen. 16. Um. Yeah. You get the feeling that he's deliberately trying to be mean to you. Hmm. Yeah, and Joust is just like... And it's... There's this certain air of dishonesty about it. Yeah, ja but Joust is immediately just like, kind of like, like, Go on, get out of here, I hate you! And he's like, okay. <laughs> Sadly, like, I just wanted to be nice. So I can so feel it! <laughs> like, I kind of almost like... You see, dejectedly almost, he's just like, I don't think I could finish this, and just like sets it on like a counter. He's like, a good day. Just like kind of like sadly, just he'll just like walk away to like a. a I, I was gonna say, you've everyone. taken your action. Do you want to move to a different yeah. room? Uh, yeah, I guess he would walk. He wants to get away from people a little bit, so he would kind of uh, go opposite of the dining hall, like over down this general direction. Like he'll start walking down this way. Towards eleven, yeah, that's right. where he'll be. Uh, eleven would be the ballroom. This yes. is where all the He's formal dancing is going to be taking place. Yes, he he needs to dance it off. That's what it is. He's feeling sad. Mm -hmm. That's it. Right. So we'll just put you in eleven. Boop. There there is music. There is ballroom dancing. There there is there oh. is a punch bowl in the corner, but everybody's dancing, so there's no punchline. Right. Ah. Boy, that joke writes itself. Hey -o. It's just like... <laughs> yeah. Alright. That's time for the nobility to move again. Uh, Drana, you see Master Jian is very irritated because he really wants to get into the mess hall, but he is in fact too big to get in there. Oh. <laughs> so they, they are, in fact, uh, wheeling out, like, trolleys of hors d'oeuvres for him to consume in the main hall. <laughs> oh, jeez. He's <laughs> got a little buffet table set up for him. <laughs> Big boy can eat. And he is eating it plate and all. Oh, jeez. You guys ever seen the BFG? Yeah, I was going to yep. say that. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah, the uh. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. God. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. Ah, uh, let's see. Imagine he's running like a little social chart. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's the second hour. People, people are gonna get something to eat. Yeah. They both excuse themselves from Drana as they, uh, into the ballroom. May I follow them? Uh, on your turn. Not as far as the- well, I- okay. The orchestra has moved into the Grand Hall. This nobility will excuse themselves to go there. Gotta get me some meats! Yep. Alright. 
now, Drana. Alright. Uh... I'm, yeah, I'm going to go into the dining room. All right. Uh, how, you know what? I don't even have to ask. This is a fancy ass dining room and fucking Drana has no table manners. This the, the, is going to be amazing. Th think, think, the Hog oh. think the Hogwarts dining hall. Ooh. That changes things. That majorly changes things. Like just because... four rows of grand tables all lined down with uh, cooks and servants presenting the feast. Yeah. Have... Uh, I'm going to sit with the two I was quote unquote having a discussion with. You know, to make it seem like I'm part of their group and not anyone else. But I also want to I want to eavesdrop see what conversations are being held at the table behind me or anything I can hear. Alright, uh, that would be perception check. Yep. Alright. 25. 25. So, amongst you is just a boisterous crowd of nobilities all just conversing together like a fancy cafeteria. Um, behind you, you're hearing rumor mills going on. One of them in particular speaks out, just like, Did you hear about that murder the other night? Mm. Uh, what, of the, uh, of the guild members? Yes, one of the one of the main heads of the agricultural guild got arrested for murder. Mm. Killed another of his folks in oh, cold I... blood. Oh, yeah. no. You know, it's kind of a good thing that we're not involved in that. Yeah, that's definitely bad. That's guy. blood off of our hands. Mm, well, no. that certainly doesn't seem to be interfering with our feast now, does it? <laughs> oh, heartless bastards. Uh, the group in front of you tends to just be, like, leaning into each other and talking before. So weren't you the one proclaimed to be Queen of the Northern Coast? Indeed, that that is me. Uh, I, of course, not this coast because I don't even know what's up there. But I come from a far-off land in in the west, and I I am queen, and I rule over a good portion of the northern coast. It's very interesting. I've never heard of such royalty up in the north. Does that not interfere with Morrowhaven at all? Again, the different continent. Oh, from the uh, far west, I see. Yeah. But, yes, I... Uh, but it's mostly just tribal lands mixed with a few towns here and there, so it's not much to rule over. Not like here, but... <laughs> and yet no, you've somehow I... gotten an invitation to this. An invitation... Uh, an invitation uh, came uh, my way through favors uh, to others. <laughs> M uh, to ha uh, because although we may not be very industrial, we do have our... Me uh, we are known for our medicine up on the northern coast. Seems that she shares something in common with you. See, or just give a hard look to her. Uh, uh, my apologies. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I, I am Dorina. May I ask, uh, may I ask your name? 
You may call me Lady Dawn River. What a, what a beautiful name. And Lady Dawn River and I gestured to the other. My wife. Okay, I don't want to alarm anybody, but I think that we got him. Yep. You never I know. I, I think, I think... This is just a hunch. Let's not, let's not, let's not, let's not. Well, it's a pleasure to meet both of you. And may I ask, what, uh, what is it that you do in this wondrous city? Well, if you must know. I must not, but if you are will, if it's something you can talk about, I'm curious. <laughs> we represent a local artisan's guild of Moorhaven. We trade art, paintings, and portraits within the city, and have since raised ourselves to nobility amongst the folk here. Oh, that must be quite a story. Rags to riches from uh, a great artist and a beautiful couple. Well, if wife wasn't just waggling her tongue, we seem to have enough in common to know that sometimes it's just meeting the right people that gets you into such good graces. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I know what you mean. And uh, I'm going to make small talk for the uh, you know, the, uh, the, as we you know, eat. Uh, Drano, give me an insight check. Understood. Uh, actually, that's also just a nine. So let's go. Fifteen. You can tell by the stammer in her voice that she was lying about how she earned her pedigree. She's hiding something from is. you. <laughs> I know she is. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. My hunches are usually right. Uh, all right. That we will go <laughs> to Tora. Lady Oratrice has excused herself unless you wish to join her. Uh, yeah. When yeah. So when they disperse, since they are going to have to walk past me to do it, uh, I'm going to follow behind them and. I'm going to ent I'm going to enter the throne room with them between me and Black Lion. All right. Uh, this would be stealth check with advantage. Mm. Not much on that one. 21. Something and looking good too. As you all sort of pass by, he's just sort of eyeballing each of you, nodding his head. Your eyes, your eyes catch each other for a bit and he nods at you. All right, uh, let's see. Mm. Yeah, with the uh, with no idea what's going on anywhere, outside of like giant being shoveled food. Yeah, it, so I'm I'm. It's like getting caught in the crowds of a con. You lost all your friends. <laughs> <laughs> That'll happen. So you know the feeling. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Like they all went to their own panel rooms. 
Yeah, I do hear the music, so I am gonna at least pop into the ballroom. Yep. And you see this like the same thing, disheveled, like... disappointed joust in one of the by one of the punch bowls. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll bow to the other two like nobles as as I pass by. Just again, just gauging reactions. Uh, insight check. Why do I keep going over to the lobby's pain? No, <laughs> I do the same thing, but with pain. So I'm like, well, this is my sheet. <laughs> Twenty-three. Get right 23. over my sheet. You see one of them head towards you, Tor. Pardon me, sir. Yes? May I have this dance? <laughs> I do the clear. Oh. And you sort of see this long mustache, very trimmed, fade-cut hair that sort of ties to the back. <laughs> long coat. Sort of decorative rapier to their side. He just he's he offers his hand to you. If you could give me a moment to check on my friend first. Oh, my apologies. Sort of just makes his way across the room. Uh, Tora. Hmm. His reaction seemed unusually fast. He was quick to ask for a dance with you. Mm. Whether it was love at first sight or something else, it's difficult to gauge with the masks. Hmm. Oh. But they appear to be wearing this uh, gold-trimmed, golden dragon mask with a snoot that sort of like bends forward across their mouth. Ooh, nice Ooh. whiskers that like trim down, like almost like match the mustache down. Oh, cool. You see, like kind of like I suppose we like turn our back at right the punch table, like oh, Tora. Lord Ratchet. I'm sorry, I forgot your name. I am um, unwell. Yes, you look bluer than I expected. I do not know why, but that child's words cut me to the quick. I didn't realize you had quick to cut. I did not know either. My heart feels heavy. And I do not know why. As if opening a sore on an arm. Strange. But do not that I do not want to impose on your party. I will recover. What did the kid do that hurt you so much? Hey. He 
He told me to leave. It is strange. Sunshine does that all the time. It doesn't bother you. I know, but it's that this, as if, as if you heard it from a, from someone you had not seen in forever, like long ago, and you thought they would recognize you. Like if I saw you and seen you in Forever Tour, and you just told me to leave in a hateful way, I would be feeling terrible. But. I have never met this child. Strange. His father seems nice enough, I guess. A little overweight. You say that like you expected him to be thinner. Yeah. I don't know. He could go on a diet, I would say. <laughs> That's a joke, Tor. Somewhere in the mess hall, Morrison's <laughs> sneezing. Oh, damn, pepper on my salad. <laughs> but there seems there seems to be something about this city that dredges up a lot of bad memories for a lot of people. Well, that is all I seem to have memories, but strange. That gentleman, I did not know you had such callers, Tora. I mean, handsome. dressed like this, why wouldn't I? I mean, play it... girl. <laughs> She's like snaps, like... I mean, I thought I looked I, good, but damn, Toro. I, I pop my head to the side when he says that. Yes, Queen, yes. <laughs> but yes, I have she not a... seen... Uh, it's strange, I have not seen much of this woman that we are looking for. Keep an eye on the man in the gold mask. I think he was just a little bit too quick on the punch there. I say you give him a dance. But if something's up, I believe in you. And could I give him a quick bardic? <laughs> sure. I believe in you, Tora. <laughs> yeah. Right. And I'm like, go get him, Tiger. <laughs> give him that like. <laughs> give him that like. That's bad. Yeah. Get in there, Tiger. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, and yeah, you see, Joust is feeling better when he does that. Like you see, he recovers and tries to look like he's sipping just. <laughs> pouring the punch back in. <laughs> like, mm, look, look, look. Tasty exotic mm. fruits. Oh, yes. Wow, how about a nice glass of Hawaiian punch? <laughs> That's some good pineapple for a straight from the lagoon. But yeah, you you do you did raise Jazz spirits. He sees you and he 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 resounds himself a bit more. I mean, it's just a kid. Just to keep an eye out on this lover boy here. I mean, I'll try, but he's not that bad to look on the eyes, eh? <laughs> Just make sure he's not up to anything. You got it, buddy. All right. I'll go. I'll go back over. Still holding that dance for me. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought to. Uh, I. I mean, yes. By all means. Uh, give me a performance check, Tor. How good are you at ballroom dancing? Um, let's find out. <laughs> well, you got a party if you need it. It is a D8. Well, you danced on the pirate beach. Was what, what, same difference, right? I wasn't in three-inch heels then. I know. <laughs> That's rough. I didn't know you got the whole heel route. Jeez, girl. I would joke disadvantage in heels, but 22. I... 22. I would say God. go disadvantage with heels, but I know you're rocking those, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he absolutely is. I made sure of that. I mean, he could he could be moving, like, uh, pretty fast in those, I suppose. <laughs> Y'all can find those full images on my Kofi after the stream. God damn. <laughs> yeah. That's like you're a professional artist or something. I, I don't know about professional, but artist, absolutely. And you 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 are rocking this ballroom blitz. 
Who's leading, though? That's the question. Well, he, he led in with the hand, but eventually Tora seems to dominate. Oh. <laughs> I bet he does. <laughs> Like, where did you learn to dance like this? Well, when you come from the Autumn Court, you are used to having parties like this. Oh, the Autumn Court, you say? You'll have to tell me more about that. And what's brought you here, of all places? Just a little bit of business with the court. Trying to reconnect with some people. And let's... Uh, it's hard to resist a good party like this. It has been a while since I properly danced like this before. And where do you hail from? sort of leans into your ear. What are you doing here? Nice. <laughs> oh. Hello? Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> See Jazz of the Fat. Oh my. <laughs> is Okay. Do, is this a voice I recognize? Uh no. However, roll me an Arcana check. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh, I was so wrong. Oh, shit. <laughs> Who's the other person now? We got to know, right? Oh. <laughs> 28. Whoa. Oh. Let's God go. Damn. Wabo. Wabo. Bora is fucking rocking this. As... As they lean in close to you, you kind of get a little peek under the mask, and you see what appears to be this heart tattoo right on the cheekbone. And it <gasps> glows with this magical aura. <gasps> it's her girl. <laughs> it's her! <laughs> and she's sexy, man! And with that, it's Payne's turn. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. Hang on. Let me just finish this this description for for this friggin' thing. Uh, I'm making sure that I get this uploaded to Kofi. Okay. Meanwhile, back in the ballroom. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to do one more, uh, one more prescription before I head over to the next room. Just to see if I can find Ophelia, because I saw... Uh, these two kind of walk in. All right, where are you gonna where are you gonna be standing while you're looking? Are you gonna be across uh, the ball? I'm gonna be over here. Hey. You're just gonna be right poke, poking and peeking. Yeah, poking and peeking. You do realize you have six eyes on you. Just act like I'm I'm supposed to be here. Like I'm about to actually walk through the door. Okay, so you're you're either gonna blend in with the crowd or you're gonna pretend like you're you're supposed to be here. <sighs> Better to blend in with the crowd. Alright, uh stealth check. You got it. 25. 25. God damn, still. Okay. And Persmeption? Uh, 
I yes. Yes, no? Yep. Oop. Sixteen. Sixteen. Well, I mean, the obvious of the bunch is that blonde-haired ponytail of, and the sh shoulder pauldron of Antony Black Lion. <sighs> the man wears his identity on his sleeve. Uh, across from him appears to be this heavily armored paladin, this large helmet and visor over their head. Uh, they appear to have a long, sharp sword at their side. And, uh, you notice long brown hair streaking behind the helmet. Hmm. To the Grand Hall. Okay. That was her. Fuck. And she's right next to Black Line. Hmm. No, I'm not going to go in fully, but once the doors close, or at least I'm far enough, I'm going to just hang out over, like, here. Yep. See an orchestra playing. You see Master Gian still getting pretty upset over the selection of foods. Make sure you add more silver to the next platter. Ugh. Implying he wants to eat the silver platter. Ugh. I like it when it gets stuck in my intestine. <laughs> ah, <laughs> no! Ew. Oh. Alright, um... That... We'll move on to a lobby. Step one, blend into the crowd, moving through rooms. All right, stealth check. Add advantage, thanks to my shadow card shenanigans. Yep. That's so useful for you. Mm -hmm. Especially because my stealth's only actually a plus uh, seven. Mm. Darn. Yeah, only, yeah, only plus seven. Only, only he seven. says. 23. 23. Easy enough, as most people are filling in the uh, the grand throne room. Mm. What's this room? Uh, this would be the royal lounge. Sounds boring. Uh, unless it's more <laughs> empty, I assume all the doors are open, right? Uh, yes, the doors are in fact open. What a lot you can see. Which room is the most empty? Uh, well, by the looks of it, the, the lounge room appears to be like this sort of VIP section. Um, the emptiest room would in fact be the library. However, you do see the head of St. Brenador in there. Yeah, maybe I won't go in there. Uh, uh, the, yeah, the feast actually, hall is eh? currently bustling with people eating food, and the ballroom is bouncing with dance. VIP section, eh? Mm. What if I just, like, casually walk in? Are they gonna stop me? Nope. <laughs> you got some balls! Hi, how are Let me you? Just, I'm, I'm gonna go sit here. And so I told them, who am I making there. this checkout to? <laughs> oh. I, I purposefully sit across at this table and just stare right at Patre's face. Yep, you see the, <laughs> the familiar regal outfit of Patre, the immaculate diamond encrusted unicorn horn on his head. As he is and lavishly making small talk amongst the nobles here. 
We'll see if he ends up wanting to talk to me later. But for me, I will instead perception check the guards. Because I'm looking for Ophelia. Sure. Give me a perception check. I doubt she's in this room, but it doesn't hurt to look. How'd you know? Perception check. 17. 17. Uh, these two appear to be male. Being a nice, nice tight shift in the VIP room. <laughs> I don't suppose one of the two at the door was the girl I was looking for, was it? Uh, as you passed in, you noticed that they were also male guard. Okay. No one important. And we'll just see if Potter ends up wanting to come talk to me. If not, that's absolutely fine. Uh, Alave's not exactly trying to keep his face hidden from Patre. Not that he wouldn't recognize me the moment he saw me. First guy to call us a sanguine band. No way he doesn't recognize us. Excuse me, as he sort of clicks his fingers at one of the guards. Would you mind letting the, uh, I will say, riffraff out of here? As you see him cup something on the table and slide it over to the bright guard. Hmm. He's calling you poor, Alafi. He didn't want you here. What did he just pass over? Make me a perception check. Sorry, Alafi, you're going to need a little more rupees to be here. Maybe come back for your little... Only a 16. This is one of those cases where the passive perception thing could come up, though. Mm. It it almost seems familiar to one of Tora's card tricks, but he seems to just slide of hand this out of your sight as he just slides it over to the guard. Mm Mm-hmm. And that the card's gonna... Oh! See the door shut behind you. Oh, shit. (laughs) Interesting. (laughs) Is this an invitation to come sit? Is that what's happening? I suppose I'll find out once he starts talking again. Apologies, uh, Mr. Ilafi. I did not want any prying ears on this conversation. Well, at least ones that I didn't want hearing. Mm-hmm. Hi. We're hanging out. We're also not here. I'm, I'm not here, at least. Or just a little fly on the wall, no? Mm-hmm. You have your own work to do here, and I have mine. Mm-hmm. Besides, I doubt you'll have any idea what we will be talking about. No, no. There's always a chance we could help each other out, though. The proposition. I don't know what you need help with, but we're looking for someone. Oh, you know my business, friend? Mm-hmm. I'm not interested in coin. I want information. We have been on quite the adventure since uh, we last spoke. Uh, some more tales to weave to me, no? Of course. At this point, he's like leaning into the table. He's got like this sassy hand just resting underneath his chin. The horn like protruding your direction. Is he wearing a mask, by the way? He is wearing a unicorn mask with a diamond horn. That's what it was, right. It was some sort of a mythical animal. I couldn't it appears remember. that since he grabbed the mask, he has customized the horn to be diamond encrusted. Of course. So you're here for information. I'm effectively here for information as well, to be perfectly honest. I need to know... One person I'm looking for. And what would you trade for such a thing? 
Ooh, that's a good question. I'm not sure if you need help finding some information here or if you would just like a trade of information that I already have. I've learned some very interesting things about Elias. About purses. The inside scoop to the inner city. That is worth quite a lot. I thought so. Very well. And do not worry, you can trust my associates here. We are a guild members, so to speak. A co college roommates, if you want to be more specific. <laughs> and what guild would that be a part of, I wonder? Yeah, you can answer that question along with anything else, since I'm pretty sure what I'm about to tell you will, one, sound insane, and two, more than make up for any uh, deals I need on my side. Uh, well, you know the town of Blooming Grove. They all have their bards colleges. I just come from a different line of guild. Line of college. <laughs> How much do you know about the inner workings of the city of Elias? We frank, the lips there are quite seared unless they are speaking of how great it is to live there. I know the reason why. You just see this big smile on his face. It's the kind of information that could upset quite a few many people. I might need more than one question answered to uh, make up the deal for this, but I'll let, as always, as the last time even, let you make up the difference. It seems you have me oh. in the palm of your hand. Like a dog begging for a biscuit, I must know. I had the pleasure of speaking with Queen Elias. An honor. Mm -hmm. As many would think. If only I hadn't noticed when I went to Elias that my wife was there. Ah, so you did find the wife? Good, good. Mm, but it was hardly like meeting her. It was as if so her mind had been dulled. It's as if so the minds of everyone in that city had been dulled. And with my furbolg magic, as it were, the entire city is under an enchantment. Elias holds magical sway over every single individual in that city. It's disgusting. I hate it. I sadly have no proof of this yet, which is why I think, uh... I believe I do, though. You have proof of this? <laughs> Ilafi, like, st The secrets of Lady Alaeus have been closely guarded for a while. I have tried to send information seekers there myself, only to have them vanish. Never return. This just confirms my suspicions. Question now is only to what degree, and if what you say is true, we have a lot to worry about. Your information seekers are likely still alive. If you could get into the city and not fall under her thrall, you might be able to meet them again. And Surely it cannot be everyone in that town. Possibly. I believe it. I don't know which friends you were talking about, but I know... She kept my wife for a long time. Oh, you know, fellow, many fellow college members who like to keep their faces covered and their footprints swept up. Mm -hmm. This is quite valuable information. 
One that could fetch a very hefty price to the right people. And don't forget, we've already been to your city once. We could potentially do it again. There's a catch to that, though. Uh, we can't let everyone in the group know. She's very careful watching us. I would imagine so, being such a controlling goddess. Mm hmm. My question for you is actually quite simple. Yes, you have very uh, much well for... earned it. A friend. One Ophelia. If you remember Payne from our group, apparently they used to know each other a bit. They want to reconnect. Supposedly, uh, yes. potentially guarding somewhere in this very court. This ball? Ball. I hate these things, by the way. Ball. <laughs> ball. Uh, we, I suppose I did hint at some of the facts when I was digging into your friend's history. She is here. Amongst the many right. bright guards. So odds are she is being kept close to the higher ups. A finger must not stray too far from her hand. If you understand what I mean. Yes. Ah, oh, what else would you wondering in here? Oh, there are other reasons we are here, but uh Yeah, I fear if I speak too much, then our plot with Queen Elias could be in danger. I have a keep secret to keep as well, despite how much I would love to get your help with it. Oh, I'm afraid it already is, friend. <laughs> uh, the first part is simple. The second part is so much harder. Um, More so with the uh, vampire sightings in the higher society. Oh, yeah, I heard a little bit about that. My friends were talking about some... What was the name? Ashen Hand? What's with them? I don't know any details on them. <laughs> The Ashen Hand are essentially a, a secret service, assassins, bent on destroying the upper echelons of undead hierarchy. Oh. Or just the you know eradication of undead in general. Ah, uh, okay. So nothing to worry about, right? Mm. Amongst your friends, I believe there are two or three you need to worry about. Oh, you know far more than you always let on. I hate that. Well, you've more than paid for it. It's true, it's true. Which uh, is why I wish to make a... a contribution to even the scales. Any information is greatly appreciated. The underworld here is stirring. I'm afraid mm -hmm. your friends may have triggered something beyond their comprehension. One of our specialties at this point, we are in way over our heads with something else. It fits in. Add on to the pile. Not wrong. You must find who you are looking for fast and get out of here faster. We want to leave before the ball ends? Sooner, if you can. Okay. Uh... Your... vampire friends, like I said, they are getting desperate. They might make a very, very risky move tonight. Thank you. 
I feel like it might still owe me one, but I'm sure we will have chances to talk again. Oh, we, the next time you'll see me in a lays, things might be a little different. But in a it's good way, I way. promise you. Mm hmm. Thank you, Padre. I'm, I'm gonna go warn my friends now. Uh. Yeah, you'll have to do that in the next hour. On uh, next hour, yep. We Sweet. are now hour three into the ball. Uh, joust. Well, I was told to keep an eye on it, and I see that. Could I take a, just kind of glance at Tora and see if I can make out what's going on with them? Because they, he's like, he's leaning in close, and I'm just like, hmm. Tora gets around a lot. Hmm. Mm, give me an <laughs> insight <laughs> check. Hmm. I'm curious about it. Like this seems odd. Hmm. Yeah, Tora's usual smirk has not faded here. He's he's trying to keep that up. Ah, 25. Oh, 25. Damn. So, Tor, me, me Tora's very I'm good gonna... with keeping a visage up. But uh, the leaning in close is a little too forward for your taste. You think something's happening. Although with Tora's look, it seems to be for the better. Mm. Uh, as I, like, kind of... Pre I'll pretend real quick to... Um... Uh, to um, pick up something, like at least another class, and I'll uh, do a quick message. I'll point over to Tora and be like, Tora, what's going on? Yeah, you're close enough. This yeah. is like a nice little message cantrip. Yeah, nice little. I'm just kind of like, or, or I'm like, oh wait, he can't respond to that. Like in his mind, and I'm like, <laughs> I, I, I'm like. He can't respond to message? Like, uh, hmm, that, that's a good question. I, off the top of my head, I'm always like, I think it's one way. Let me see. See, this is like pointing and whispering a message that uh yeah let's see message 5e you point a creature and whisper a message uh the target can hear the message or reply in a whisper that only you can hear yeah okay no they can't reply so yeah i don't know why i thought it was like like i was gonna say you signal me if that ends up but then like yeah you could do a quick whisper back it says Yeah, with, without breaking the dance or anything, Tor is just going to, like, let his hand leave this person's hip and just quickly thumbs up toward toward Joust before resuming. <laughs> you see it kind of turns him like, I knew it. It's like, this is why Tor is the greatest magician of all time! And, like, it's like... <laughs> he kind of... He just kind of goes like... Damn, like, and I kind of, like, instinctive and puts the cup on there. And I kind of come in and I'm like, ah, yes, Tora, you have not introduced me to your friend. They're dancing. I'm, I'm, I, I, okay, I'll grab a, like, a partner and just, like, kind of see if I can match them with the dance and talk <laughs> oh as we're God. dancing. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm pretty good at dancing. Let's see if my partner can keep up with me. That's all I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> good Lord. Fuck, oh, God. <laughs> Joe, give me a performance check. Hot damn. Let's see. So we have a plus 11 in performance. As if I there was any very, doubts. Oh, uh, yes. Bards. Very good. <laughs> oh, yeah. 17. That's pretty low, actually. Nope. 17, have 17 essentially matches your partner in their maneuvering. Yeah, I'm kind of coming in around, and like every now and then I just kind of like, like, Tora, we need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like kind of pacify, like, I'm just like, we should find. A place to talk. <laughs> like, dip the lady. Oh, my. <laughs> like, oh. I am, since I'm leading the dance, I'm going to take it farther from Joust. And so he doesn't in this spook something. This waltz fashion just bum, 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 bum. <laughs> yeah, Tora. All right, Tora. We need to. We need to. We need to do this. It's all like kind of matches. Oh my god! And then he he just thinks about. It. He's like, I should let the others know. Uh, so after he quickly stops the dance, he's like, I'm sorry, my lady. I must be off. But it was enchanting as dancing always. And then kind of dips away and just he'll call, pop out here and at least look for somebody just to know that we might have the thing and we need to get the fuck out of here. I'll get the, if anything, get the car and get going. All right, as, sure. as you walk out to the Grand Hall, you see pain in one of the uh, the corners by the entrance. Uh, I'll quickly just like, almost like, I, I, I kind of look at the guys like, 
uh, uh, ooh, I kind of want to say like, like uh, you're a little flat on that. <laughs> Just like keep moving by. Like. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I'll be like, I kind of like lean over and just like do the whole lean against oh. the wall thing. I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, I kind of what? in a whisper. Tor has found our target. Good. I wanted. To I don't like know him. how you got that from a thumbs up. Well, I mean, you see, I, I said, well, he, well, he's either that or he's got a special spun buddy that he really likes. He's got a what now? Hmm. Oh, I mean, oh, he was no. dancing. <laughs> Uh, a hand a bit lower gave me a thumbs up. I think he's in the clear. I'm just saying. Look, anyway. But yes, either right. way, I think we should be good. I think I need to procure us an escape, if anything. Okay. I don't like what's going on. I feel an edge. Also, okay. why okay. does that... Okay. Re real quick, one sec. You met that kid before, right? Yes. Why doesn't he like me? I don't know. Look, okay. Oh. Here, here's, here's the... <laughs> Here's the thing, okay? Okay, yes, yes. I need you to do me a favor on your way out, mm -hmm. yes? Yes, of course. Okay, so there's a paladin, not that far off, from paladin. this threshold. Uh-huh, all right. Uh, one of them is Black Lion. Don't talk to him, don't make eye contact with him, don't do anything with him. I know Black Lion, and I know he is bad news. Yeah, he is bad news. Yes. Good, good. Mm -hmm. The other one, the other one's a friend. That's the friendly that I told you about, yeah? Do you need me to pass along a message to your friend? Yes, tell her to meet to meet us at the uh, outside the minstrel cup, because that's where we're supposed to be running off to. Yeah. If things went south. If things went south, okay. Um, where are we supposed to meet if if things don't go south? Outside in the car. Okay. Well, whatever they call it, the vehicle. I think it's car v vehicular thing. Yes, that thing okay. that we rented. Listen, if we're gonna do this. I don't want her to basically leave in the middle of her shift. That would be too suspicious. So we need to get her out of here, but make it look... Good. Okay, I could figure something out, but I'll at least see if I... Is there anything special I could tell her to know that it is you trying to get this information? Oh my God. Um... Something that they would know that only you and the two would know. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <sighs> fucking hell, I can't believe I'm fucking serious. Okay. Tell her. Recording. <laughs> Don't fucking record this shit. Oh, okay. Please, oh, okay. just, just okay. keep it in mind. Uh, yes. Tell her that Kane wants to see her. Your name is Pain. Kane. Pain. Cain, understand? G yes. I didn't know you had so many different names. God, jeez. <laughs> so Jazz is like, all right, God. All right, I, I'll, I'll, Cain. Is that with a K or a C? C. C, Candy Cain, got it. And he'll be like, and I'll be like, ah, yes, a lovely party. Like, kind of change his demeanor again, mm. be like, good day, tip his hat, and he'll be like, Yes. Yeah, Make sure that she doesn't leave before her shift, okay? Of course, sir. But you enjoy yourself. It is a party, and a wallflower such as yourself needs to flourish out there out on the dance floor. Don't fucking tell me what to do. Seriously, you're kind of a dick, Pain. And he yeah, kind of like walks away. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, turn tell that me frown something upside I don't know. Turn that frown upside down, bitch. It's <laughs> like whisper something like. Uh, and he'll be, like, making his way out to, like, go see her. That's, like, kind of where he'll be going next, because me going there, there would be, like, the movement in the room. Yep. Yeah. To go at least get it. Yeah. He'll just kind of meander there. And that's my turn. Uh, could I give a bardic to Pain as I leave? That's what my, that little whisper I was going to do. Sure. Yeah. And that, that, that's it. Cool. <laughs> Your bardic is, you're kind of a dick, Pain. <laughs> you're kind of a dick, Pain. Also, I believe, also, I love you, bro. <laughs> I love you, bro. <laughs> love you, bro. <laughs> Yeah, you're kind of a dick, but also you're my best friend. <laughs> you you did remember to uh, send a message over to Ophelia on your way out, yeah? Well, I mean, I'm stepped outside. She's outside the door. She's like in the main hallway. Basically, I'm going there to tell her next next thing. But you told next me that. Next turn. Yeah, you okay, told me you, you told me to go talk with the person opposite a black line, and it would be this woman paladin over here. That's yes, what I, yes. I have no yes. That's what I've been told to do, and that's where I'm going. 
Uh, with that, it is now the nobility's turns again. Beast is up, and they will move themselves around. Master G in here is really getting the short end of the stick, not being able to go into a majority of these rooms. I mean, it, it was fault for being so tall. Maybe he just should be born shorter. God. Yeah. <laughs> Ten feet. You were magic. born shorter. Or you know, change his size like a normal person. Jeez. <laughs> Patre will be on his way from the room. Imagine if Gob has like a little flow chart where they're supposed to be going. <laughs> like he's looking at it like a whiteboard. Mm -hmm. I wish. Yeah, like a football player, Madden, like drawn where you need to draw. I'm like, okay, go here, you know, and then then, then the tackle right there. <laughs> just kind of it seems like you just seems to be shifting around. Yeah. Uh, if you'll excuse us, as they try to dismiss themselves from Drana. Uh, Tora. Mm. Uh, your dance partner goes uh, somewhere private now. If you know where to find privacy here, I'm all ears. Once the dancing has stopped, uh, he will insist that you go into this section. Payne sees the side of these two and he's a little bit jealous. He doesn't know why. I mean, I told you, he's got it in like Flint. Oh. <laughs> I can just hear like the pencil snapping in Payne's hand. <laughs> the private lounge <laughs> has a wine flute. his food, but he is going right. Drana. Alrighty. Um, Drana's going to head back to the main ballroom, or, well, whatever this room is. <laughs> the throne room. I guess I will... I'll talk with these two. <laughs> if that's okay. Sure. You know, just make small talk. And talk about the city. Good evening. I... I... I'm... I'm kind of new to the city, so I want to introduce myself. My name is Dorina. <laughs> Ah, Dorina, queen of the northern coast. Yes, uh, not of this continent, but yes. Of course, uh, of course. Of course. Patre has told um, us all about you. Oh. 
I see. It's all right, you are among friends. Well... Do... Well, I... I'm trying to keep my eye out for... For some who are up to no good here. Oh, sweetie, everybody's up to no good here. I love these I, guys. I mean, uh, of the nocturnal variety. Uh, less of that, but still <laughs> present. <laughs> I mean, fair. Uh, just... Just need to make sure that... That we don't get caught up in anything. <laughs> Trying to get in now, unscathed. I doubt you have uh, any other. Um, you would know of any emergency exits. Well, to our knowledge, this is uh, one way in, one way out in the Grand Hall. Okay. I'm sure there's some secret compartments or escape routes somewhere, but eh, they are not willing to give that information out willingly. Well, do you trade in do you trade in gold or information? I'm afraid that information is tight. Even we do not have access to such a thing. Fair enough. Well, then I better start meandering toward the front door. <laughs> Just in case. But, in case we meet in the future, may I know your names? Even if they're not real. <laughs> she, she's kind of snickering. You may refer to me as Gloom Sun. Oh, that's sick. Alright. It's it's a pleasure to meet you, Gloom Sun. <laughs> and wise heart. And it's a pleasure to meet the both of you. I hope this is not our last meet. And Drano is going to head closer to the front door, like, you know, back into the... Burke sort of sitting parallel with pain. Alright. Uh, can I send a uh, telepathic message to pain? Sure. A lot of messages. Any luck? Any luck finding your friend? doesn't give eye contact, but gives her a thumbs up. Let me know what I can do. That. It's nuts. That's all he does. Alright. And uh, then we are flanking the door. Right. Well. Uh, Tora. <laughs> With a laugh, he just sitting there. <laughs> Uh, this man in the gold mask pretty much drags you over to this room. Oh, hey. Oh, you ended up here. I had a very interesting conversation with a friend. Hmm. Secured us some help for later. All right, I need you to spill the beans. How did you find me? Not quite as private as I was promised, but... As private as we're oh, going can... to get without leaving this place. Yeah, I can, like, leave if you want. Who's this? You're fine. Friend of mine. <laughs> Suffice to say, you've left a little bit of a trail for us to follow. Was it my father? He 
he is involved, though it's unfortunately coming from a higher standing. See his eyes like pinch for a second, just like Why? What do they want with me? That's what I would like to know. There's something about you that means they aren't willing to take any alternative. We do have a spot we can have a much more private conversation. Like with all parties involved. And I'll offer that one last quick thing before the, two, the other two start talking again. We're here to help. Simple as. Right? In that case? Yeah. You see him reach into a coat pocket. You see what appears to be this sort of amber red coin. You, privacy, now. You see him just toss the coin over to one of the bright guard. <sighs> Every hour on the hour, eh? Shut up. <laughs> oh my god. God damn, girl. <laughs> hey, damn, boy. Now, we're in private. And you can tell me what this is all about. Oh, that was neat. Sick. <laughs> Queen Elias wants you for something, and we're not entirely sure what, but apparently involves marrying her child, as he uses air quotes for that. to escape such rabble. I know. You're right. You you know because you're the one who helped me get out of it. Yeah. And I have no intention of taking you back and taking away what I gave you. But we need to know why it has to be used specifically. Because I was going to be the next chosen for the High Court of Autumn. I was going High to be Court ruling. Has a... I was going to be ruling for the next season over. The High Court has other daughters. I still don't see why it has to be you specifically. It's unless there's something about you that they aren't telling us. It's going to get really bloody complicated. Oh boy. I cannot stress enough that we are on a time limit here. I've been warned by Patre that we should get the fuck out of here as soon as possible, by the way. Then I will yeah, try to make a... it brief. Yeah. Okay. Does it have to be here? Yes. This is as private as we're going to get. We need to know right now. Fine. Hundreds of hundreds of years ago, Queen Elias decided to attempt an invasion of the Feywild. We were too strong back then, we repelled her. 
However, upon a second return, it seems she had beaten us. When our forefathers surrendered, she had one simple promise. Every season, we were to gift her with one of our own. That contract is about to come to an end. And it ends with me. Queen Elias is going to absorb the Feywild. Absorb it. And I don't mean that metaphysically, I don't mean that metaphorically. I mean she is literally going to absorb it. Drag it into the material plane. So all this, all this to obtain dominion over the Feywild? Start of everything. Once she has that much wild magic upon her hands, who knows what she could do to the others? She could take over the whole world. I was supposed to be the last one. That's why I, I had to go. I had to get away. Without me, she can't do it. She has been waiting and biding her time. Sacrifice after sacrifice. That's why the higher and courts had to cover it up. We couldn't have the Fey folk thinking that there was anything to be alarmed about. Or else we'd all be dead. And that's as short as and I can I was make it. Just, and there was just at the right time to get you out <laughs> a chance of fate I suppose I did ask you to take a chance I didn't realize what a chance it was <laughs> you ended up landing on the royal flesh somehow but if you know about this and you're here what's next We don't know how much awareness Elias has. This yep. place is a powder keg that we need to get out of, but we need to reconvene and figure out what's going on. All right, then. I trust you, Tora. I'll follow your lead. If you found me, that means they're sure to find me next. Let's try to avoid that. Uh, Pain, it's your turn. Okay, cool. Uh, I saw Hephaestus and, and uh, William head over into the ballroom. Uh, yes. Uh, no one else that I know has basically gone in with them, so I'm going to go in. And, and follow 
All right. And why doesn't the kid like me? <laughs> Ask him for me. Oh, pain. Why does your brother hate me? All right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna at the very least uh, uh, go and say hi because I mean that would be the polite thing to do as as one of the the, the guests that was invited. <clears throat> Mr. Morrison. Ah, hello. I do have to thank you for the invitation. My companions and I do appreciate it. Ah, the, the thanks is all mine. Thanks to you, the fever broke and he's never been better. He looks down at, uh, at William, just kneels down to his level. How are you feeling, kid? Okay. Yeah, that's good. Still don't know why a doctor has to be under a bed, but it, it made me better. <laughs> you know, Excuse if me? If there's one thing I'll never... Yeah, the doctor, if they were under the I... bed, said it would make me be, feel better. Our main doctor is pretty small. She has to get into some harder areas. And considering what we had to deal with... I'm sure you can understand why, right, Mr. Morrison? He sort of like taps his mask on the nose, he's like, Right, more than just ordinary doctors. He's a specialist, son. She specializes in medicine. But, uh, yeah, the going under the bed, that's, um, that's weird. Hmm. Well, I do hope you're enjoying your time here at the ball. It's been quite the thrilling experience getting to reacquaint myself with some of my old my old friends I haven't seen in a while. Hmm. No doubt due to uh, the conundrum that you've been facing for a while. Ah, uh, yes, exactly. Have there been any, um, any other disturbances since then? Oh, security's been kept pretty good. They seem to have taken my word to heart. Good. Good. Two saints in our midst. Mm. Mm. Almost I saw Anthony feel Black the presence Lion. of his light. I saw Anthony Black Lion, but I didn't see the other saints. Who did? Who else did they hire? I was Saint Brenador, of course. Ah. If it's vampires yeah. we're looking for, then Saint Brenador is the one to look after. He's been doing his rounds, I believe, checking in on the guests, making sure none of them are being shady. Mm, understandable. If I may make a suggestion out of the saints that I do know, are you familiar with Ophelia? Of the Rheinhessen House? Hmm. Name seems to elude me, I apologize. Hmm. She's a well respected member of the community, and especially among the saints. She's very reliable, well-liked among the people, and she cares for the people that she cares for. If true anyone, supporter of the crown. True, yes. So, hopefully, I hope to point her in your direction, but in case that she doesn't come of her own accord, see if you can try sending her a message. She's the perfect kind of uh, protection that he might need. Ah, well, if you don't see them first, I can certainly let them know you're looking for them. Well, maybe not me, per se. I was more so thinking that uh, for more prolonged protection, that maybe she might be able to lend a helping hand. Ah, I see. I understand. She's quite good with kids. I will take this recommendation to heart. Thank you very much. Of course. You haven't encountered any, um, suspicious persons so far, have you? A place like this, there's bound to at least be one person looking to do shady business. Hmm. But nothing ever really popped out of the blue. Except maybe that Jian individual. Uh, I, for the life giants. of me, have no idea why giants would decide to send one of their own here. Especially knowing the history. 
Their history kind of eludes me, but um, I don't disagree. Well, it was one of the first wars that ever waged. Giants and dragons and gods alike fought each other. It's been a feud gone for generations. Now we're supposed to suddenly turn a blind eye when one walks in the midst of Keen? Hmm. I don't know. Turning a blind eye would be risky. Quite an idiotic, in fact. Keeping an eye on him, but also making sure that he's somewhat welcome, just to make sure that tensions are lowered. Just, just to so to speak. I just don't understand the giants and their barbarism. I don't understand their intentions. That's the one thing that you really want to wor worry about. The track record's anything to go by. It's lucky he hasn't started a fight yet. He might, especially if they run out of silver. Well, I trust in our bright guard to make sure he stays in check. I want to do an insight check on the kid, just to see if he's bored out of his skull. Uh, sure. Give me an insight check. Okay. <laughs> This is an adult's party. This is boring. I'm bored. <laughs> He's a 10 year old at an adult He's a gathering. 10 year old at a 19. 19. You, you get that feeling of this is a kid who got woken up, put in a suit, and dragged to church. Oh. <laughs> oh, I hate that feeling. Oh, no. I've been there, kid. There, there is like. There's no one here that's around his age. So he's he's kind of just the, the odd boy out who's just trying to make his own amusement. Like, the, you can see he's here because, you know, maybe brighter colors and dancing and, a f like, fruit punch to drink and just you know, things you think kids might gravitate to towards a party like this. Mm. But without okay, anyone really... Enough. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, without anyone really to kind of engage with him, he's kind of... Yeah, and you, you can tell that uh, that Hephaestus is being the protective father in all this, just like making sure that he stays within eyesight of him. Oh. Uh, I'm going to kneel down to his level again and, and see if I can do a few coin tricks for him. Uh, Sure, give me a performance check. Uh, is it possible I could do sleight of hand? Uh, you are doing tricks. When press a yeah. child. Okay. Tricks are for kids. Everyone knows that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! Uh, you do show of Joust. Bardic, yes. Uh, Bardic. That's a d6, right? That's a d8. 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 It could help. You're a dick, pain, pain. pain. Eight. No, <laughs> ten. That's a ten. And you, you <laughs> manage to flip the coins between your fingers and sort of just catch it before it falls into the punch bowl. <laughs> You're not very good at this, mister. <laughs> Shut up. How'd you do that with the fingers? It's all about practice. Hey, let me show you. And he just starts showing him how to do the trick. Right. Is that what you want to do with the rest of your turn? Yes. Brother in love. A lot. Yes. Dang. Lafayette, it's your move. Okay. Gonna start with speaking with Tora. There's a, there's a method to things here. Patre said, mm -hmm. Ashen hand, going to act before the ball ends. All things considered, we should not be here. Got it? Got it. Uh, I think you're I'm gonna I think go you're mixing up my words, Alafi. Oh I am? You mentioned the vampires. Ah, right. My bad. Sorry. Not the Ashen Hand. 
vampire is going to try something desperate. Right? We mm -hmm. should not be being risked as uh, getting caught in the crossfire. I don't want to have to fight vampires. Wait, vampires? Right? Yes. Uh, mm. Oh, you're yeah, going to have to tell me about that later. I'm so sorry. You yeah, didn't know. We, enc we encountered one here. They might be targeting someone here at the ball. Explains the security. Uh, go this way. <laughs> oh, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Walk up to Drana. Lean down. Close. Whisper. Hey. Got news from Patre. Vampire is going to act before the ball ends. And we need to get out of here before... Th it gets messed up. Uh, can uh, it's not my turn, but can I do sending to pain? Um, uh, higher low. If you want me to wait, uh, hi. All out. All right, cool. Let's go. Casting sending to pain. According to Pod, uh, according to Patre, the the vampires are on. Wait, according to Patre, vampires are on the move. Get hid out. He pauses what he's doing with the kid. Holds a head, um holds a finger to his ear just to kind of indicate he's getting some kind of message. Yep. Roger that. And that's all you get. That's all I need. <laughs> While you were casting that spell, Elafe has been saying, where's Payne? I need to go tell him where he needs that we need to get out of here. Stop I, got it. I got it. He'll meet us up front. One way in, one way out. Okay, that's Tori, you, myself... Where's Joust? Oh, wait, this uh, door's probably open, eh? Uh, yeah. Wide open. <laughs> Never mind, I just <laughs> walk right <laughs> out. <laughs> I can make a stealth check if I need to uh, avoid this one's suspicions. Uh, if you would like to. I would love to. Mr. Stealthy Boy. Not that stealthy. You gotta be There's a always a chance it could roll low. Me. It's not today, it's 24. 24, all right. I just got news from Patre. We're uh, we're gonna leave quick. Vampires are probably going to uh, and again, very much so. Close whispering. We should definitely get out of here before any vampire attack. Patre warned us they're gonna try some before the ball closes. Quick question: Do kids like fruit punch? What I mean, I think it'd be fun to punch fruits. I'm just gonna start leaving. <laughs> <laughs> and Joe says, "Punch and fruits, eh?" <laughs> like thinks about that. Like, oh my god, it's got an idea for a child activity. All right, ready. Uh, with that, we are on the fourth hour. Um. Joust. Uh, well, he gets that from Alafi, and he's just like, uh, as he sees Alafi go, and he'll qu send a quick message in his head, like a quick whisper, uh, as he like kind of hears that Lena, and like he's about to run away. He points at he's just like, uh, see if to who? Get the... uh, well, to Alafi, as he was like moving away from him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just just as Alafi was like, just like in that instinctive, like you know, he's within ten feet of him, kind of thing. You're lucky uh, he is he just a can... hundred feet away from where you're standing. Oh, yes, that's even perfect, right? Oh, he's so fucking fast, I forgot. Yeah, I was like, God damn, he's so fast. Also, over the you... course of an hour, I assume I can make a lot of distance. Oh, God, yeah. If sure. this place wasn't crowded, I would be out of here already. Oh, yeah. Um, he points to you and he says, if you're going outside, get the get the carriage, the mechanical carriage ready. The right one makes it go faster. The left one is the slow down thing. Okay. It's, it's the only I, response I tell... you get. <laughs> All right, and then, and then you see Jasper goes <clears throat> like adjusts himself a bit, like fixes the mask a little bit. Um, 
he could he see if he's like um tries to at least mingle over to her just at least like kind of not nonchalantly just like mm, do, 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 and just like oh uh, pardon me real quick i i have a question for you um i'm sorry lady because he sees he sees it's a female right yeah like she's got like her helmet off or something uh no she has a visor down like a, a full oh, like plate okay. helm Oh, okay. It's closed. I thought like she had it open, like at least formally, kind of thing, like you know, like a knight would if they have their helmet up. Okay, but yeah, Saint Saint Anthony. Oh yeah, that guy's that guy's flamboyant as fuck. Yeah, no, he's out there like fucking Game of Thrones character. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, uh. I'll come over to and I'll be like, um, excuse me, I have a question for you. Yes, what is it? I... Um, there was a gentleman that uh, asked me to pass along a message to you. I was just passing out, of course. I am taking a bit of a... a, a, I'm feeling a little ill, and I was just on my way out, but I just wanted to pass along the message to you. Now, I know you are quite busy, but just to pass it along. Um, And then I kind of, like, come over and I say, seems Kane is looking for you. And would like to meet at where I, I basically say the message that Payne said, Kane wants to meet you. Da, 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 da. Yeah. And then I'm just like, I, just, that was just, it was curious, but they told me at least pass it along. I, I bid you a good day and may Kane's light shine upon you. <laughs> you see her grasp you by the shoulder and drag no, you I, in. I, 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 I say, <laughs> I say, but like, I say, like, uh, yeah, it's probably that wobbly, like, no. I'm trying my best to not show, like, at least some mechanical, like, war in that probably goes on, like, um. Where is Ken? I. Sorry, my lady, I don't know. I was just told to tell you that. I meant no disrespect, of course. You're lying. Where is Cain? As Joss like thinks about it, he's like, think Joss, think. <laughs> like out of that like inner sweat, like uh um, And I'm like, I'm If you would let go of me, you do not want to make a scene, my lady. I'd be happy to tell you what I know. Please, the suit is quite expensive. <laughs> I just got it fixed. You don't want to lose faith in the, of course, the court of the king, king himself. Is there something wrong, Ophelia? Nothing, my saint. <laughs> just, <laughs> just a belligerent drunk. Uh, oh, I, I, that's an easy way I could pan out. And I'm just like, oh. Could I stumbly perform to at least try and make my way? Like, yes, my lady. <laughs> take him to the staff quarters to sober up. Oh, no, I just need to walk it off. I'm fine. Give me a deception check. Ah, uh, yes. Because <laughs> now you have oh. both the saints and the bright guard paladin's eyes on you. It is a good thing you are blue. It is a good thing you're a bard! A good thing I'm a bard who's got a plus seven in deception. How about a 20 man? 20 man? Fine. But no more alcohol for you. Oh, I don't even touch the stuff. 
<laughs> it's the whole Jack Sparrow like, now if you don't mind, I have to do what the most common thing we do in this time and drive myself home. <laughs> no, I bet you a good day. As he like kind of cuts his a bit and he will like stumble here like da 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 He's just like doing the whole Jack Sparrow walk and kind of a little wobble every now and then. Oh. And internally he goes, like that little girly, like kind of scream of running, like, gotta go, gotta go, gotta get out now, gotta go. And he'll probably try to meet uh, a lot <laughs> going out. He, he's gonna probably go past a lot like, trying to. Yep. With, with your turn, you get one room shift. Yeah, I'll shift out to be getting ready to get to the carriage. Like, kind of, I'm prepping to do that. That's basically it. Just like, the beat feet. <laughs> yeah, and that is my turn. She's strong. She could just lift my ass up. Holy fuck. With the new <laughs> arms? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I'm like 500 pounds. Like, just... <laughs> you forget Ophelia is a paladin. She's yeah. strong. She's stronger than she looks. She got faith. And she <laughs> looks strong. She looks strong. Full plate. God damn. All right. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, it is the noble's turn, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, before Hephaestus starts uh going anywhere, uh, I am going to uh relay what I got from Drana, uh, and and let him know. We've got movement. You two need to get out, now. What do you mean? I mean... that these... creatures are going to be making a move right before the ball ends. And if you want to continue breathing, you want to get out. Now. Pain. Mm hmm As you're relaying this to Hephaestus, Joust, Alafi, Rana, Aura, you all begin to hear loud crashing noise originating closest to you Joust yeah as, I'm like probably getting right to the door as the grand double doors of this ballroom begin to crack and burst open the bright guards try to push forward but they are blown away by this just green and blood red aura that just sort of blasts its way through like a miasma of mist it, it wafts you by like a cold and bitter gust storm pushing its way through each of the different levels in the Grand Al Alafi, you begin to see this, these tendrils of green light underneath this like miasma of red just begin to pour into the ballroom, into the great foyer. By the time it reaches you all, the, the people in their own respective little private rooms begin to hear the commotion as this loud, thunderous noise just begins to rattle the very foundations of the palace. Whatever light there was there has been blown out and wafted away. Echoing through the halls. This emaciated voice. The child of dreams shall see no light this evening. 
And as these green bands of energy just begin to crash onto the tile and the marble floors, you see in their presence dozens upon dozens of skeletons. Oh, no. Varying in many different sizes. From mounds of them just beginning to lump together in this green energy to at the center stage of it all, this this long robed man and uh Drana, you'll probably get the best view of this. As this sort of emaciated skeletal form has this staff in his hand, his arms raised up. You see what appears to be three round shapes on top of his shoulders. What, what it almost appears to be like three heads. Ooh. It'd be hard to just throw these all in here, but let me just throw these all in here. Oh! Oh! My no! God. Fantastic! Oh man, that's called shatter distance, there, folks. No, I'm joking. Oh, oh wow! Look, look at this big boy. Look at this dude. Ooh. Oh, it's a bird skeleton too. I love that little chicken bones. Bones. I see. Looks like I got a baron to pick with you, scheduled conflicts. Uh, the, these will be spread out a little better, but uh, just to give you an idea of the scale of what is about to happen here. We're going to save this encounter for next time. Oh, no! oh, boy. oh no. It's turning into a ballroom blitz, boys! Ballroom <laughs> blitz! As in the center stage, you see what appears to be this three-headed skull-faced mask with these vampiric teeth jutting from the skull's mouth. Oh, oh boy. The Lord of Southstone invades the palace. Oh. Oh, fuck! I knew it was the freaking Lord House of Bones. Oh, shit. We'll see what happens yeah. next time because this initiative order now has become the encounter initiative. Oh, Fun shit. Fun times. I've got to say that. The list. <laughs> I like that. I am very excited to see what y'all do in this. But uh, until that time. Thank you so much for watching. We have gone on for five hours this stream, and I appreciate you all being here. Take care, everybody. <laughs> Damn it, Zealik. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.